Previously on Dungeons and Dungeons, the Waterdeep group escaped a lost ruin of Linnell after defeating the fiend we known as Orlith. Yeah. Devastated by the loss of their dear friend Shalomir, they were they struck a bargain with the lizard folk cleric Eve to resurrect him. In return, they need to free the Paragon of Light inside the city of Linnell. After settling into the city, the group made new friends to find the location of the Paragon of Light. It's location beneath the city's castle in the Power Chambers. Avoiding Cleaning's Day, the team headed straight for the castle only to be caught in a coup d'etat by the People's Alliance. Rushing past the city's clockwork lockdown, the group arrived at a standoff between the revolters and current leaders. Before the first blow was struck, the crowd struck to the to the crowd, a golem was picked up whole, swallowed by the largest creature any of you have ever witnessed. A stampede of maddened lizard folks, dinosaurs, and creatures poured out of a black violet like fire, the swallowing the city from the east. Screams erupted from all directions as people were being dropped from the sky by maddened flying creatures over the city. The horde had arrived. Power being so fragile, this world was collapsing in on itself while a large green scaled lizard folk creature entered into your view. Three times the size of the other six to... It's actually two times the size of the other six to seven foot lizard folk creatures that poured in. It towered over many of the other maddened creatures. Unlike the erratic movements of the others, he began calmly pointing instructions to take the castle. Alerted to your presence, the creature turned to the others in broken common. Fetch me the gem. As the madness raptor spread it toward the team, Tyrion distracted them with a crack of sound. Running into the fray, the group entered the black-violet fires and smoke, engaging with this creature. Each of your characters begins sweating from the heat, besides Tyrion, while your eyes water from the smoke. Your stomach lurches with every step you take closer to the creature. The sand beneath your feet crunches so loud as, as, as if the world has stopped completely. Six-foot blades erupt from the creature's arms as it nearly misses impaling you, Lyris. Charnook raises his sword to strike the creature as you hear... The hunted believe themselves to be the hunters. Will your strength be chronicled in the pages of history, or will you be forgotten like all before you? I need everyone to roll for initiative. <laughs> Ooh, that was better than roll. Nice. Nice. That's a an 18. 18. Okay, let's see. 17. <laughs> okay, so that would be Charnook. 17. Tellius. Oh, let's go, dude. Orhana. 18. 18. 18. Oh. Oh, oh, oh shit, guys. Natural oh, 20. Shit. Do you have any modifiers to that? Yeah, it's a 23. Oh. Can't lose. So 19. We blow up the oh. bad guy. If you had an oh 18. shit! Guys, we, we kill him. We kill him in the first one. round. You're not good. Dude. I already pre-rolled him last. Oh, week, okay. Too. We can't pre-roll. <laughs> <laughs> I was gonna do it to speed things up, but all right, Luke. Twenty-eight. There we are. Ah, Excuse me. You mean Xiaomi is playing? Who are you? The ashes burst out of my back. <laughs> what? It's way easier, guys. Death has no consequences. What? Yeah, he was really a conjuration wizard the whole time. <laughs> all right. It was a homunculus. No. Oh. <laughs> Maybe we can try and play this at the same time. Right. Or <coughs> I guess it would be a simulac. I hope this. Sh I think this is the right one. So here's the file, and uh, I, I'll tell you when I'm gonna click and play it, so we can try and get it synced up somewhat. Cause the music's kind of cool. <laughs> All right. So oh, I actually probably can, uh, might not be too loud. Okay. Cast. Go away. <laughs> Got him. Mm. All right, so <laughs> I'm going to play the music the in uh, three, two, one. Oh, jeez. <laughs> I've heard this one before. Uh, but not quite exactly the same. What? You'll hear. Oh. So, with that, um, Zap, you're going to go first. Who? Who? Okay, uh, am I... Where exactly am I? Can you describe it? You are yeah, right here, on top of a house overlooking the current scenario of okay. the smoke that is like pouring in, in 
I would say like pulsing through. You know how like fire pushes through and like you can see things for a moment, but then it pushes by. That's right now encapsulating the entire crew as this massive lizard folk has these blades come out of his arms, almost like claws. And Charnook behind him has raised his sword to go and bring it cracking down as he nearly missed a Ulyris ducking out of the way. There's these creatures that are two or three si- times the size of Transforce Rexes that have already come through, and those are the did, big did ones. Did you describe those last week? Yes. You did? But yes. I didn't do it clearly enough, because everybody kept okay. saying that. No one. Remember the guys that was swallowing the raptors way back in the other young gook? Yeah, sure. Remember that guy that you put to sleep and almost killed yeah, you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Those things are coming through the city right Neat. now. All so right. they're pouring through. You're seeing people picked up from the sky and dropped down from players pterodactyls just to help you with your vision so those things are going through and messing everything up you have now creeped on top of one of the low hanging houses you can see a raptor over here jumping on top of the houses some of them pushing through the area you guys cleared out in there you've seen raptors jump up and into the castle after he ordered and pointed to them to go uh to go um, take the castle so that is what your scenario is looking like right now all right um, so the giant lizard patrol, he's within 90 feet of the area. Uh, absolutely. Yeah. Yep. Uh, I'm going to cast Hunter's Mark on him. Ye- okay. Oh, no. <laughs> and I will, uh, shoot him with my longbow. Go ahead. Oh, no. A familiar strategy. <laughs> uh, 23 to hit. Um, hits. Okay. I am going to shoot him again. I'm just going to do this so that I can do the damage later. Okay. Uh, natural 20. Ye- okay. Uh, there's three attacks in this attack action. Uh, and then 26. <laughs> Hits. Alright, and then I'm going to use, uh, what is it called? I forget what it's. Action Surge, and attack him three more times. <laughs> Go ahead. <laughs> wow, alright. Uh, 19. Does not hit. Okay. Oh, man. Legolas over here. 21. Does not hit. Okay. Alright, it's 22. And then 22. Does not hit. It's 23. Ooh. Wow. Okay. Uh, no. So that's three hits, right? One yep. natural 20. First three hit. Yep. Yeah. Unless he has a thing. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Maybe. Uh, and I am going to also use one superiority die. Okay. Oh, boy. Uh, which gives the next attack that is not me advantage on the okay. attack. Okay. Sure. Cool. A lot of dice. All right. Uh, From the rooftops, these arrows start piercing through the smoke as Ulyris is trying to look back and Charnook's coming down. He can just see like that, the circle creed as arrows are coming in and hitting into this creature in front of you. Also, uh, did he see me before? Was I hidden from him? Yes, you from were. From the creature. <laughs> Absolutely. Okay, I'm also going to use sneak attack. All right. Oh my God. <laughs> so there are three classes in this character. <laughs> He told me all about uh, this character. Uh, yeah. Okay. A lot of dice, sorry. Yeah, no, don't be. Don't be. Was oh, this the character where you can do like a million damage on one? Yeah. <laughs> Hooray! <laughs> and then one more D6. The nuke strat always works. Always. Alright. Yeah, 54. 50 points, 54 points of damage? Yeah. Alright. As you rain off these arrows and they go into the scales as you're just getting the, because of how fast the force is coming, you're getting glimpses as it goes to hit them. And as the arrows go, they off, off, deflect off. And you know those should have hit. Mm-hmm. But none of them hit. And he looks fine. What? Oh, my Interesting. God. Curious. Uh, yeah, that's my turn. Okie dokie. Actually, I assume I'm I'm still out of view, right? Yeah, he didn't even acknowledge it. Okay. Like, he... Um, yeah, I'm good. It just came... And the other ones just missed everybody else. And those were, like, so fast how they were coming mm. through and just nothing even seemed to have touched him at that point. Um, that is some bullshit. It's gonna be his turn now. Uh, with okay. that... Well... Uh, Bye, everyone. <laughs> <laughs> So much for destroying him for his round. <laughs> hey, hey, that was... Oh, you... You yeah, you were so close to going fucking ham. Um, I knew I shouldn't say anything. God damn it. Anyway. Uh, so he's going to turn. And as you're raising the blade, uh, Charnook, he's going to lean into Ulyris and go, 
Give me the gem. And he's going to take his multi-attack. First one's going to be a bite. As he leans into uh-huh. you. That will be a... Wait, so where is the guy? He's, he's Killer Croc. Oh. He's not actually Killer Croc, but I didn't go out and buy an expensive miniature because trying I could He's have. basically yeah. Killer Croc. He's he's bigger and what different. Form? Sure. Uh, no, he's lizard folk. Where are my actions? I had the the modifier. Oh, I had it all set up. Oh, it's right here. It's right here. So that's he, he doesn't 23. have a modifier. 20, he here. does. 23 to hit? Yeah, it hits. All right, give me a con saving throw as he oh, ah, oh bites boy. into the back of your neck and Constant. rips out flesh. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> all right, all right. Uh, um, 17? No, that fails. Oh, uh, no. Um, oh, okay. I'm sorry. Wait, wait. I got to see if he rolled enough damage for that. I'm sorry. That only triggers if he does enough damage. Okay. So, hold on to that. Uh, ooh, you might be in luck. Yeah, uh, nope, he didn't do enough damage for that to trigger. Ha-ha. So that's um, 17 points of piercing damage. Okay. It just yeah, comes out, and you can tell, like, it was just, it just missed uh, a part of you, uh, Ulyris, that, from what you know, would paralyze a person. Um, oh boy. 17. Okay. As he. And he takes a turn. A maze walker! Out here! And he's gonna take two swings against you. Uh, hit him with a slap. If he has a modifier bigger than 14, he just hits. <laughs> <laughs> Unless he rolls a natural one. That's Are true. you saying your armor class is 14 or yes. 15? All right. Boy, yes, I am. 28 to hit on the first one? No. Yes. Okay. So let me roll that damage. That's how it works. If you're double the armor class, it, it starts not hitting again. again. Yeah. <laughs> it stops. <laughs> no. All right. What it's like a do? circle. Let's go to sword or uh, something. Or is he using his, his weird hand? Yeah, call? he's using a big long one. Ooh. Ooh. Are they like attached to his body? They, they he's come, Wolverine. yeah. So it's like, but it's way up high, and they're these, they're like really long and almost claw-like. He's but they're not like straight, thin steel, well made or anything like that. They're just these long, and they're all super sharp on the edges. Yes. And he, his his scales himself too um, look different compared to the other lizard folk. They seem a lot harder than everything else that you see with them. Theirs looks more like skin. These look more like really hard scales. Okay. This is like a Wolverine action type deal. Yes, and it's coming out this way. It's not as exaggerated a curve, but it's it's a little bit. Enough to kind of be like a very long sword. And he stands about like 13 feet tall, like I told you guys. So that's why the blade yeah. is like as Naturally. big as him. Not naturally. See, see, you can try and keep getting stuff out of me. I can't help naturally. it. Naturally. Um, <laughs> naturally. So that's 20 points of slashing damage right. and 20 points of uh, necrotic damage. That's nothing. Okay. The next one is a. Uh, oh no. Twenty-one to hit. Hold on a second. Uh, yeah. Okay. Ooh. Ooh. Oh no. You killed. Jack. Did you crit? No, no. I didn't crit. <laughs> thankfully. No, I'm rolling damage. Um. Oh no. Good. 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 Oh, we didn't kill. Yeah. I didn't max out on dice. I really don't want to worry. In the first turn. Uh, In the first <laughs> 29 <laughs> points of slashing and 15 points of poison damage. Give me a con saving throw. Jeez. Con save. Natural 20. Nice. You're good. Critical success. Yeet. You feel your body start to seize up as the first one starts sucking away your energy and the second one ah, cuts into you. You can feel just this sickening that you can... Uh, you, you've felt this before in the past, and with your constitution, you're able to focus, focus, and just push that away with your very <laughs> essence. Um, push that down. Okay. Way down. And then, with that, he is going to... That's a lot of damage! <laughs> uh, Eulirus, you can get an opportunity attack if you want him. Five, ten... 
He's gonna turn around and he's gonna take right two well, sure. uh, claw attacks at uh, Tyrion. Um, Wait, so he has a multi-attack, but he has two attack actions per turn. Uh, that'll be... Uh, b -b 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 for his claws. 29 to hit, Tyrion. That hits. Miss. Tyrion's right. going down. Yeah, I took an opportunity attack, but I missed. I got like a 9. Okay, um, that's uh, 18 points of uh, slashing damage. And then the second one is... Uh, 20, 23 to hit. Yep. Okay. And that is nine points, uh, 17 points of slashing damage. I didn't add the money. No. Okay. All right. And as he hits all of you, uh, the fire pulses again through. And I think that's gonna end his turn for now. All right, so next up is Orhana. It is your move as you see this massive creature ripping into Charnook um, and your friends. Part of Ulyris's neck came off. You saw these massive blades just being stuck into Charnook and then turning around and just clawing at Tyrion. A little bit like Baraka, yes. Yep, yep, very much. Very much so, that idea. So, I'm going to shoot an arrow at it. Okay. Uh, you have advantage on that. Okay. Go for it, then. So many choices. Yeah, I'm going to use one of my magic arrows. The beguiling arrow. If cool. I, if I hit it. Okay, what does that do? takes an extra 2d6 psychic and is charmed by one of your allies within 30 feet of the target if it fails a wisdom it's saving gonna throw. Be um, too charming. Until the start of the next turn. Okay, go ahead. Uh, let's see. So that is an 18 to hit. Does not hit? Yeah. Got maybe. So as the arrow psh, comes off, you can see as he claws into uh, Tyrion looking into these creatures, the arrow comes right at him, and all he does is just little duck of his shoulder, and just goes right by him. I'm gonna do it again. Okay. <laughs> Woo. <laughs> uh, natural twenty. Nice. So that's a right. thirty to hit. Yep, that hits. Are you okay. using the same arrow, or do you still have another one of those arrows? I or? do. All yeah, right. So might as well. Kill him. Um, Kill him. So go ahead and roll damage first. Six piercing? Yes. And then, did you do the um, wisdom save? Um, not yet. We'll get to that. Okay. Uh, so you said six piercing? Yes. All right. And you said it's a wisdom save to prevent for him to be charmed. Yeah. Okay. Um, I need you to make a wisdom saving throw. He's a warlock. Ah! 17. Okay, I now need you to roll um, a d10 for me. It's an 18, actually. That makes a difference. Nope. Okay. Uh, oh, shit. This is cool. <laughs> Seven. All right. Um, now I need you to roll a d20. Okay. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> oh, no. Two. Okay. Uh, I feel like that's good. I hope so. I think that's good. Okay, give me one moment. This reminds me of the conspiracy table. Yep. <laughs> this smells of conspiracy. Conspiracy. But worse. Yeah. Far, far <laughs> worse. My foot fell asleep. Oh no. Oh my yeah, god. Don't mind me. What a time. Um, you take 23 points of psychic damage. Okay. What the fuck? And as. You're, as the charm goes off, you start to hear, like, your your brain starts, like, squishing inwards, and Orhana starts to hear both a female and male voice inside her head, 
and your um, intelligence is reduced by seven for the next two hours. Frick, man. Oh, man. That and you can't sense. make any sense of the words that are in your head, and you just start hearing these things inside of you. She's still smarter than me. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> and do you, do I roll for the save? Um, for Does which I one? damage? Nope. Okay. So, you learned something. <laughs> Not great, though. <laughs> All right, uh, Tyrion, it's your turn. I am going to kind of look at him and wave my hand, yep. and I'm going to cast a uh, hold monster, spending three sorcery points to impose disadvantage on the wisdom save. Absolutely. That's, um, a, that's a smart sorcerer. So it's that. a straight roll. He has advantage on magic attacks, oh. magic saving throws. So you get to learn that. I see. So here we go. That is 17 plus. Does that beat your modifier already or no? That beats it, yeah, already. Then you don't get to know. So he does make the save. Um. (laughs) So as it comes out, you you go to hold him and you see him like... (laughs) Except he wouldn't laugh. He, as he... That, that's us, Scott. <laughs> uh, <laughs> when you go to hold him, you see him. His eyebrow raises, and you see him. <sighs> Interesting. And I mean, I can't really do much else. <laughs> okay. Okay. Well, then that will go to. If I try to run, he can attack. So <laughs> sure can. Uh. Charnook and Tellius, who has better decks? I have plus one. Plus one? Plus zero. Charnook goes first. So I will rage as a bonus action. Sure. A flash of spiritual energy will emit from around me, and my spirits will begin to protect my allies. And okay. then I will take two attacks. Uh, I'm going to take Adam of the West's vicious greatsword. Yes. And rake it across the back of his knees in the hopes of severing a tendon or something. All right, go for it. I'm doing both attacks at the same time. Go for it. Um... One is a 24, the other Hits. is a 22. Does not hit. All right. Charnook, cha- changing out his sword, takes out Adam's sword, and rakes at the back of this creature. So that is 14 points of slashing damage. Okay. Ripping damage. You notice as it cuts through, it's it actually gets through to him. You can see him go, ah, as it cuts through the back of his legs a bit. And as he turns around, he looks at you. (sighs) Do I know you? That's the fight I remember. Your family missed you when we were trying to find them. Why weren't you there to defend them? That's a long story. Do you have the orb? No, I wish I did, though. (laughs) (laughs) I wish you did, too. All right. Uh, That would be... too much... He that will now be Tellius' turn. That was too much. I will bonus action cast healing word okay. at third level on Tyrion. On my guy? On Tyrion. <laughs> Go for it. He, yeah. He just took damage for the first time. <laughs> my, my sweet summer child, no. Well, Orhana <laughs> did do some damage. You did notice it did do damage, but as the spell uh, went off, that's actually, when things got weird with Orhana. He started grabbing spell. her head. Scratch that. Well, it's, it's still a charm. It's a magic effect. Yes, I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to do that. Oof. Sorry. Um, I forgot to use the advantage the first time. I'm not sure if it would have made it I'm going to walk okay. next I'm to so Iris. Okay. 5, 10, 15. Uh, where, like, what, can I get an overview of the area? What we can see? That sort of yeah, thing? Uh, it's starting to dissipate. At the end of this round, you're probably going to have a clear round completely of vision as the smoke passes through, but it's like pulsing through each round, the smoke. So right now, it's still hard to see. You guys can't really see past the smoke because your eyes are burning, except for Tyrion. Um, And it's probably about, you know, 25, 30 feet. You can see anything in, in this area I can give you, but like deep down this way, you can't see. Back in the alleys, you can't see the guy up on the roof. You guys have hardly noticed that. Because uh, the other guy wouldn't have done anything. 
I'm in the zone, I ain't noticed anything. <laughs> Did you say something? Uh, I'm going to stand in front of uh, Elias. Okay. Actually, here's what I'll do. I'll... Uh, Elias on deck. And then... I'm Jeff. going to... Cast... Yeah, I'm going to cast this guy self on myself. Okay. Okay. Okay, sure. 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 Okay. Cool. That's totally doable. Anything else? Give me a deception check. Eighteen. Okay. We'll see how that works out. And I'll whisper as I'm doing it. It's a follow my lead. We need to get you out of here. You're the most important person here, and this is not good at all. Okay. your turn, Eulyris. Um. I am going to... Where, where's the castle? This is the castle right now, and, we're, and like, see all these X's around it? That's where the plates are positioned. Um, you're right here. And uh, right now, the entire castle is buried in. It all has these plates that were put up in defense before uh, before you guys were able to get into the castle. Stinking civil disturbances. Am I right? <laughs> okay. All right. And there doesn't seem to be a way in. I mean, you can look around. You can check. Hmm. I'd like to go over to the castle and look for... Any possible entrance. 5, 10, 15. You can go over it, but that will cause an athletics check, or you can go around it. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35. 35 can get you to I'll just point. go around it, and I'll, I can burn it Round. if I need to. Okay. Uh, I have, I think it's 30. It's behind him. 40. I have 40. Oh, 40 will get you. Speedy boy. Oh, 40. Right about here. Okay. Ah, uh, <laughs> what's over there? Here. Okay. All right. And just look around for any way in, maybe a way to climb in if we can get over the, the walls. Give me a perception check for your action. I can't shoot virus. Perception. You, you can. <laughs> no. It would probably be an unarmed strike, so it would only do Yeah, go ahead with an unarmed strike. You can attack against Ulyris. Fake by I see anyway. Oh, that's right, but you also have the bell. Um, what'd you roll for your perception, you Iris? I, um... After modifier, you're after, uh, 22. Yeah, you 22? You're looking around, you can tell <laughs> that those creatures were able to jump up to the higher <laughs> one, but that's about three stories, so it's gonna be difficult mm. for you guys to get up there. So it's 10 uh, if you had any magical tricks, you could probably get up there, but you are hearing a lot of noise going on inside, and potentially there might be some way to get in from everything you're hearing inside. What do you mean by that? Um, it sounds like people might be trying to escape out of the, the castle. Oh, okay. Well, I'll keep an eye out for people coming out. Okay. So then I know I can get in that way. Okay. Cool. All right. So, anything else? You Would you roll? Oh, I rolled a 24. That hits you, Lyris. Go ahead and roll damage. 10 damage. 10 damage. Eulyris, as you run away, <laughs> the transformed Tullius is like, yo, we gotta make this work. And you're like, okay, sure. And as you start walking away, kink, he just puts his, like, sharp uh, nails right into your back. And you're like, maybe I am gonna get paralyzed today. <laughs> as you take 10 points maybe, of piercing maybe damage. It's, maybe it's just one of those days. <laughs> 
<laughs> All right. <laughs> Shame. <laughs> All right, so it is now top of the order. You can feel the castle shaking. The fire dissipates for this round. You can you can see around what's going on in this area. Bodies everywhere. You can start seeing these raptors dragging people off into areas, jumping onto the tops of these buildings. And any of those like mounted ballistas and all the clockwork defenses are being torn apart by each of these massive creatures. You can actually see through another stampede behind the castle building, this spine on the back of this long build madness creature that is of gargantuan size as well, pushing through as more of these lizard folk are cracking into places and ripping open buildings. Um, at the top of the turn, you see the lizard, uh, giant lizard folk you're engaged with right now be like, come back here! I'm... Uh, as Eulyris is <laughs> getting out of there. <laughs> Alright. Zeph, your turn. Alright. Uh, I'm gonna try to attack him again. Uh, yep. But is there any way for me to hide before I do that? Or am I just like out in the open on a roof? You're I out in the open on a roof, but I could let you hide behind like a uh, chimney-esque thing going on. Yeah. Do that so, then. Alright. I'll hide first. 5, 10, 15, you're here. So then you hide. Give me a stealth check. Yep. 42. I'm loving the rings around the middle. Right well, yeah. Plus. It helps you identify him a lot easier. 23. 23. Okay. Cool. I'll remember that. So uh, and then I will attack him. He is 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55 feet. Yeah, I have Still in range. So you pop back up. Definitely in range. I have a 600 feet of range. Yep. Knock your arrows and go. And attack him twice. Okay. Go for it. Uh, 24 and a 14. 14 doesn't hit, 24 hits. Alright, on the 24, I am going to expend a superiority die okay. to use maneuvering attack. Okay. And I will shout, um, Tiefling, get away from him. And I'll shoot. So, uh, Tyrion can now move half of his movement as a reaction if he wants to without provoking attacks of opportunity. <gasps> so 15 <laughs> Get behind me! <laughs> That that helped me out. Uh, you see, fifteen feet towards where Eulyris went, trying to run towards the castle. The smoke dissipates, and all of you all of a sudden hear this shout on the top of a rooftop. And even the giant lizard looks over real quick. And as soon as that happens, Tyrion he he had a little glance, and as soon as he sees that, he sprints <laughs> off. And you see the, him sort of looking at this creature all the way out there, and the, the, he has this interest and fascination around him. It's not like this playfulness, it's this interest seeing all these things around. Um, I get 15 up? feet for half my movement speed. 5, 10, 15. It's going to get you right here. Where do you want to go? He said he wanted to go after Eulyris. This I was running after Eulyris around to the castle. So Tyrion's like, Pushing around the boulder person. Get me out of here! The moving rock, and it is now sprinting that way. As that was 20, 24 damage. 24 damage. As the arrow comes in, you can tell a little glow in his chest lights up as the arrow connects, and off. No damage. Okay. Just trying to help, help a brother out. <laughs> Mechanics. Um, all right. It is now his turn. Uh... As he sees Tyrion running away and Eulyris, you see him? Uh, it, it is our fates today. The world has brought us together for this moment. He starts looking to each and every one of you. Do you feel that? Your adrenaline rushing. That means you're alive. This is real. Live in this moment. And with that, these... And he throws these balls of black and purple light, one towards um, Eulyris, and one, one towards Tyrion, and one towards the guy. You're on half cover, though, so your AC goes up towards Zeph. Half cover, you get two, plus two to your bonus. All right, so let's roll for the hits. Ooh, natural 20 on Eulyris. Oh no, I'm dead. I'm going to spirit shield that. <laughs> okay, uh, what does that do? Uh, it reduces it by 3d6. Okay, that's good. Uh, the and then that's going yeah. to be... Spirit shield. Um, Grandma! Help! <laughs> 31... No, 30. It's 30 to hit both... Uh, uh, Zeph and Tyrion. 
that pet. Uh, let me just check real quick. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, let's roll Ulyris' damage first. It's just a oh ball. Oh, boy. Uh, that is eight points of damage, doubled, crit 16, and then what'd you roll? Uh, it was a six. A six? So, so ten points of psychic damage as... as or force damage. As it hits you right in the back, you just keep getting your entire spine lit up, and you see it just, like, splash against you as it hits. Um, Zeph. Warlock splash. Ooh. That is uh, ten points of force damage. Mm -hmm. Tyrion, eight points of force damage. And then okay. he's gonna he's gonna turn to Charnook and attack him. Bring it. Uh, something happened. Oh, it's okay. It's okay. <laughs> As he comes in, I believe the fates brought us together for a reason. For some reason. I really like what you're saying, but I feel like I shouldn't like you. I'm very conflicted right now. <laughs> well, you can join me. Look, don't you see? And he starts pointing around. What do you notice? Make a perception check. That is 15. You see your clansmen fighting with the oh, lizard folk. Oh, shit! Oh, shit! What? One of them's your father. What? You recognize as he bursts whoa, through. Wait a minute, no. wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Is that all I see? What? No, but there's, the, there's also the lizard folk with them, and they look different. Sickly. Sickly, but they all have that, like... Those weird pulses, and you can tell that madness is in them, and the purple oh, eyes. And oh, I'm gonna kill him. <laughs> I'm gonna kill him. <laughs> He's dead. We missed you, Maze Walker. We almost had something special. And he's gonna take two strikes against you. Bring it against himself. <laughs> um, one is an 18 to hit. Yeah. Oof. And then another one is a 32 to hit. Yeah. Okay. Um, yeah. I gotta drop real quick, but I'll be back in a sec. Okay. Uh, Twenty-two point slashing. Okay. And um, six points necrotic. Okay. And then twenty. Three points slashing. Six poison. Give me con save. Wait, 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 hold on. Okay. Yep, yep. Math. Six poison, you said? Yes. And a con save? Yes. That is a 26. Nice! Once again, as it comes in, it seems like this poison's just not going to affect you. As you see your, your family members, some of your clan members around you fighting in this, this feels that rage already burning inside you, and you feel the, the spirits of your ancients guiding you in this fight. Um, and you resist. Okay. And with that, he is going to end his turn. And that is now Orhana's turn. I am very bloodied. <laughs> yeah, I think so. I've taken over 100 damage. So... <laughs> How do you use his legendary um, attacks? You know? right. I think because what? Orhana is so dumb right now. Uh huh. She's, her turn. Your average intelligence is no. I'm below average right now. No, it's ten is average. Ten is average. Oh well. Yeah, ten is just like a regular person. So right now, how clever Orhana's been with tinkering and her tactics and where to move and all that, it's just slowed down a little bit. It's like, you have a migraine. I'll oh, give okay. you right now. Like, a, a horrible migraine that, like, <laughs> as you try and focus too hard on something, it's just like, I just want to, I don't want to, I don't want to do this right now. I want to lay down. Okay, so I'm not, like, super No, you're not like, it's an arrow. No, okay, you're not so there. I was going to, like, <laughs> circle, and that was going to be my turn. No, no, you're good. You can absolutely still keep doing accents and everything. Yep. Okay, cool. Yep. <laughs> This is a fun place to be. Yeah, but you might not want to use the same thing you did last time because it could get worse. Yeah, I'm just going to use a normal arrow this okay. time. Okay. Shoot the same guy. Okay. Uh, it's a 22 to hit. All right. Um, that doesn't hit, actually. Yeah. Just misses. Know. As the arrow comes out, you can see from your bow, mm -hmm. you release it, and as he's just laying into Charnook, you're seeing your friend getting just 
massacred. The arrow off those scales. Um, oh, I'm not taking this. Oh, oh, I totally forgot about something. I know. How oh. far do you think away I am right now? From? From the green guy. 5, 10, 5, 10, 15, 20-ish. Okay, that's kind of what I thought, too. Okay. Um, so, what I'm going to do then, actually, is whip out the dark dagger. Sure. Um, and chuck it at him. Do it! Bring me his blood. Oh. What'd you roll? A two. Oh, no. It doesn't hit. Okay, as you throw the knife... Whoa. Yeah, uh, no, it doesn't. No, it doesn't hit. It's as you throw the knife... Um, oh, one of the raptors is like running by and it just hits your hand and falls in front of you though. So you oh, it didn't go all the way across and you're just like, Gah! so you can pick it up next turn as like a bonus action or an action. Okay. We'll see how I feel. Uh, I actually have one more attack I can do. Do it! Okay, so. <laughs> <laughs> uh, shoot him again with my normal arrow. All right, as you're like. I have to pick up the dagger as a bonus action. <laughs> yeah. All right, go for it. Dude, you die. Okay. It doesn't hit. Yeah, that is true. She did roll in that twenty. All right, doesn't hit. So as another one goes, whoosh, goes off. It's going right towards him, and once again you see him just do this little, still focusing on his target. It just goes through. All right, um, Tyrion, it is your turn. Then Charnu can tell us. We gotta run. <laughs> uh, and I'm gonna rinse and repeat. This time I'm gonna spend five sorcery points. Yep. Uh, and use both Heightened and Quickened Spell. So I'm casting Hold Monster as a bonus action okay. with disadvantage on his save. Straight throw. 15 natural. Yes! No! He has a modifier. Natural 15. Uh, um, what, what, what is it? It's a 16. Uh, but, but for what's, what kind of save? Oh, Wisdom. You'll get to learn something. 27. Did you say 15? I, I, I just might have. to make sure. Like 15. <laughs> 27. Okay. That's right. That's 12. Really. That's fucking That's plus you. 12. Whatever. Uh, I'm going to be like, 12. fuck, and I'm going to use my action to dash and my full movement to run all the fuck away from him. Sure. 60 Shit. feet towards Eulyris, towards the um, building. As you run away, you can see him as his reaction, he can make an attack of opportunity against you because he has reach, but as he goes to do it, he pulls back and just it was more, he just shows you it's possible as you just start sprinting away. Fuck! <laughs> he like puts it right down in front of you and you, you stop, and then he brings it back up, and then you sprint. So how, how far can you go? 60 with a dash and my movement. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 60. We'll get you all the way over here if you want. All right. Yeah, I will plant myself there. Okay. Oosh. Okay, cool. Um, oh, and b before I got away, I was like, out loud, like, we gotta run. Yep. <laughs> um, even something in the back of your mind is telling you, Run. <laughs> Besides your normal instincts. Okay, so now that is Charnook's turn. I will use... Hmm, as much as I want to kill him. My buddy said that it's a good idea to run. Sure did. Hmm. I'm going to use my action to disengage and then run away. He's going to use a legendary action. Uh, where are you? Not again. We just brought him back from the Raven Queen. Not again. <laughs> oh, I don't want to carry two. I know you need to make a saving throw, so give me a moment. Get ready. It's in here. It's <laughs> Is... uh, does it have to be another, another creature? I know it's here. Oh, it has to be someone other than me. Uh, make a saving throw. I'll tell you what it is as soon as I find it. Well, what, it depends. If it's a dex, I have advantage. Oh, okay. Um, I think it is dex. We can go with dex for now if I can't find it. That's a 11. They're really good. 
It's an 11. Oh, you know, I'm almost certain it's a uh, intelligence. I'm certain it's intelligence. <laughs> it's a three. They're really, really good rolls. Okay. Uh, three. As you go to run away from him, you see all these versions of him start appearing around you. And you start, when you took that disengage, your entire world starts spinning and you just start hearing those male and female voices in this very, think, um, uh, what's the... No, no, no. Uh, Shadow of the Colossus. Okay. Um, that voice that talks in the beginning of that game to you throughout the entire time starts entering your head in a, a language you can't understand. And as you go and he's completely around you, you pick a direction, all that disappears and you see him right at you. You're now grappled by him. Okay. I mean, I used my action to disengage, so I can't do anything else. Okay. That's the end of your turn? Yep. All right. Tell you, it's your turn. You have just seen Charnook, like, turn in a bunch of circles and then walk right at this lizard folk. your size? Uh, medium, but I'm considered large when it comes to carrying people. So you are medium? Uh, yes, I believe so. so yeah, I am. Um... to ask this fellow a question. Yeah, go for it. As an action or anything, just like have a chat. Well, if you want to have him have a chat, that's going to be a persuasion check. I'm going to ask a question. Okay, as in the form you are right now, or as Tellius? This form's fine. Okay. I just want to make sure I still have an action if I ask a question. If not, I won't go ahead, question. go ahead, go I, ahead and I ask, ask the question. Go ahead. I've seen I've seen okay. it done many ways. Go ahead. We'll, 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 let's start we'll start with one and we'll see where it goes. Yeah. If it goes deeper than maybe an action. Alright, go ahead. What are you off to? As he as he turns to you. <sighs> they don't normally talk back. You gonna drop your form? No, I'm gonna keep it and I'll walk up to Charnik and uh, put my hand on his back and cast Dimension Door. As, as oh. you walk over, you can see his eyes widen as you notice he can see through your disguise as you get closer. <laughs> and you go, and you see him, an old one, and <laughs> what? you guys leave. Where right. we going, pal? Um. <laughs> Oh, you're still over there, pal. Yeah, I know. Yeah. Everyone's yeah. ditching Orana. You gotta, like, hide somewhere. Yep. I don't know how to save your life. Um, well, skip the well, range on this is, is very high. Yeah, it's 500 feet. It's 500 feet, feet but... Where do you want to go? Let's go uh, into the tower. 500 feet. Let's go in there. Let's go in there. Okay. okay. Yeah. That's a good idea. Like, the <laughs> opposite direction. <laughs> <laughs> There's now a literal castle in between us and them. Yep. Poof! As you come to the other side, you just see blood gushing out of Charnook and his arms around you. See him like, oh, that, was, as, that was rough. I think I could have taken him though. I think we gotta get out of this one, buddy. There's some weird stuff it's, going on with it's him. Not worth it. it is worth it. Is that it for your turn? Um, yeah, that's all I can. All right, Iris, your turn. All right. Um, I'm just gonna go um, around the castle looking for ways in. All right, so just keep just five, keep 10, going 20 around. Twenty gets you Tyrion. Okay. Um, so give me an investigation check. Okay. Because now Elyris is just going against the wall as he sees all this is poof, poof behind him, and you see the giant lizard folk creature looking around. Sees Orhana, looks back up to Zeph on the rooftops, sees you running away. What'd you get for your investigation? He froze. Oh. What? What's that big black rectangle, by the way, next to the monster, the bad dude? This? 
Um, yeah. It's a row of flowers, basically, that was out in front of the castle. So it's oh, like... Okay. stomped on that shit. Yeah, it's like a bunch of... But it's not... But it's lit, elevated. So you know how they would make, like, basically a rectangle of cement, put dirt in it, yeah. flowers? Yeah. It's That's like what that is. Five feet. Okay. Like three feet, five feet. Yeah, like three feet up. Yeah. yeah, yeah. It's one of those things to make the castle look pretty. How does it look? Pretty. What do you mean? How does it look right now? Not, not pretty anymore. Those? Yeah, <laughs> they actually look remarkably untouched. Oh, no, the fire would have charred most of them then. So there's like this soot over the top of all of them. Uh, they look city. Nobody likes a city flower. Yeah. Brian, Here's you back yet? He's still frozen? Yes, he's frozen. <laughs> okay. Now well, we gotta wait for him. <laughs> Give him a phone call. Yeah, let's see. Did he... You guys uh, DM him. DM him and see what he wants to do. Or what he rolled. That way we can keep moving forward. Oh, oh is he coming back? Hey, buddy. There he is. Hello. What'd you get for investigation? Uh, 31. You can hear, as you're rocking by, you have to stop for a second, you can start hearing these chains going up and cracking, as, lo- as well as you can feel like a force banging on the wall, and you can hear just these horrid screams from dwarfs inside, and you hear these monstrous uh, raptor sounds. Hmm. Um, as you're going by, so you, you kind of, with that 31, you, 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 you're almost certain something's going to happen. All right. Is that in your turn? Do you want to do anything else? Um, like exactly where I am? Yeah, where you are now. That's where you just stopped. You can keep going further if you would like. Um, if I think they're going to pop out right above me, mm-hmm. I'm going to go slightly past it and then look back towards it. Okay. You go about there then. Okay. Yeah, that works. Cool. All right. Is that in your turn? Uh, I'll just shout at the guys around me i think they're close enough to hear me right yeah sure the well actually everything's nuts so you're but shouting yes it's literally I'll like try. A yeah. i'll try yep uh you don't have I'll to make a perception say, check I do or don't? Yep. you do have to make a perception check okay yep and, um, and i'll say we need to get in the castle or or or, or should we leave what what's what do we want to do um, you, the guy's just doing that with his hands out and like constantly trying like grabbing the back of his neck because he's like he bit out like muscle and so it is it is rough the back of your neck right now. I don't even remember why we're here. <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> top of the second round, just as you move out of the way, <laughs> the doors blast off those metal plates. <laughs> Give me a deck saving throw, uh, Tyrion. You happen to be in the way where you are located. Uh-huh. That whole side of the castle blows open. You see this raptor. <laughs> drop dead nice. as his blood is going there um no one can really see inside right now but it's uh 13 13 Oof. nope <laughs> so as you try and dodge out of the way you just get smacked in the face with all these like uh bronze and iron um uh, wall platings that just crush into t- scrape across Tyrion's face um that will be 10 points of bludgeoning damage as that panel goes by you. Um, but as you look, Tyrion, you can see tons of dwarf bodies. You see clockwork machines being ripped apart, and you can still actively see raptor bodies on the ground, but actively see raptor bodies fighting some of the other dwarfs inside there. And you see this golem that is inside as well, just trying to like punch down and crush these creatures that keep jumping on top of it. Inside the castle, though, you can see this like throne room-esque, where it's more like... Um, you can, it's like, oh, what's the room where you bring people first to the audience chamber? Yes, it, Ante- it is, yes. A- antechamber? Yeah, it's not quite the, like, the serious King's Chamber where you meet him, but it's like the first one, the prep room, before you would uh-huh. go into the next one. Um, so that's that, and that opens, and, uh... We'll open that up. Or will you? Okay, well, you could try mm-hmm. <laughs> That's always the magic words. All right, it is now top of the lineup, Zeph's turn. As you've seen both these arrows go off and psh, the doors blow open, and you see the creature making eye contact with you, what are you doing? Uh, I will bonus action hide. Okay. <laughs> uh, do I have to roll for that? Or? Absolutely. Yeah, especially since he's, yeah, I thought. 
staring at you. Natural 20. Okay, let's go, dude. So it's very high. Please let me know. How high? Uh, 31. Okay. So you look at that, and you, as he looks at you, you, like, crack the roof, and it looks like you jump down the roof, but you really hide behind one of the mm-hmm. chimneys. And you see him follow eyes, and his gaze, he loses interest in you and turns to Orhana. Uh, and then I will hold an action, uh, hold an attack if he goes to attack Rahana. Okay. Thanks, man. All right. Is that it? Yep. Okay. It is his turn. Uh, he looks at Orhana, who looks... How, how damaged are you? Uh, like a third. Okay, so you're not looking terrible. He sees you up, and he's going to run. Jump over this. Athletics check. Trip. That'd be so funny if you trip. trip. He trips over it. <laughs> Ooh! He falls on his side. <laughs> As he goes to mount, his just massive size gets caught. Fall on your sword. And Fall on your sword, you idiot. Uh, as his, like, he like, basically tears the whole wall apart where all the flowers are. They're just gone. No! As he falls to the ground. You'll pay for your crime. You can see both the swords as he goes down just go in as he catches himself and he goes <sighs> and comes back up. Retractable. Um, so that he'll lose half his movement there, so Rook if he was here... <laughs> he failed it. Idiot. He's there, and then he will uh, dash. He's in trouble. And he dashes right past Tyrion, who's just still twisted. He and you 50 feet he turns speed. the side and he looks at uh, Eulyrus and he goes, The gem, please. Uh, I don't think so. <laughs> <laughs> throw it. Um, throw it. <laughs> Yeet. It's not my turn. Yeah. Yeah, that's all he's going to do for now. Um, Orhana, your turn. As you just see this massive creature trip and then peel off with incredible speed. His strides, because he's so tall, cover so much distance in almost what, what is completely foreign to you as a small little uh, gnome. It's like every step is almost your full movement. Is this white guy behind me? Is he a bad guy? Uh, yeah, oh, they're probably long gone by now. They okay. would be sprinting down. That was just the start. Like, these guys are gone, and now there's, like, another one pushing through. So I'll push these over the dead bodies, and we'll say this is, like, a new group that is pushing through. But those are basically the dinosaurs pushing through these houses in these areas. That's, like, the the horde, and there's, like, another one pushing through back there. Okay. Um, but they aren't, like, going to attack me. Here. They don't they're seem like to that. have any interest in you guys right now. Okay. Um... Given, I'll say even looking at it, it looks like they're searching. All of them seem to be searching for something. Hmm. As they're pouring through houses and ripping people apart. And then Tyrion Charnook. <laughs> so oh, I'm next? Use, um, no, no, you're not up yet, but I'm just telling oh. you. A bonus action to reach down and pick up my dagger. <laughs> as you pick it up, what kind of throw was that? <laughs> Are you kidding me? Oh, I'm so ashamed. <laughs> I'm ashamed. <laughs> Jesus. Um, <laughs> Jesus. And then I guess I'll just start running and chasing after everyone. Okay. Because um, can't do a whole lot just five, here. 10, 15, well, you 20, actually, you could probably hit him feet. from there. 25, 30, okay. Yeah, but I want to stay pretty hidden yeah, where I am right that's now. A so legit I'm, I'm just going to do that. Okay. We're going to kite him. Okay. Um, We're kiting him. Do you want to keep going, or is that it for you? That's um, 30 feet of movement. You use we need bonus to action. not you still have fight it. Because clearly he is going to kill us. Yep. Unless we can break the thing in his chest. 50, 50 feet. Well, I don't then, think it's worth it. I don't know. Yeah, that was only my movement. I might as well take a shot. Yeah? Yeah, I could make it. Might as well. Oh, I've been forgetting to do something. Uh, I'm aiming just for any part on him I can see. Okay. So that's, um... His back is to you right now. That's only a 21, so that doesn't hit. Okay. 
I have three per mm-hmm. thing. So, let me oh. see here. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Thanks. Don't lose that one. <laughs> that one's been missed to me so far. Oh no. Not Try this one. <laughs> okay. And uh, that's a 27. So Yay, that, that hits! hits. <laughs> so as the arrows are coming by and he's staring at you, Lyris, you can, as the, not even looking, he just, he just puts his arm up and <laughs> Two of your arrows go by him, and he puts it back down. And the last one <laughs> hits him in the back as he's still staring at you, Iris, with his hand, the other hand out, asking for the gem. Ah, take that. Okay. Take an arrow. How much damage? On you. I don't know yet. Okay. <laughs> nice. Nine. Nine points of damage. As the arrow hits him, and it, as it hits the uh, the scales on him, it doesn't do as much damage as you normally think your arrows do, as it like shatters on impact. But it, it definitely. Attacks it. Oh, the migraine, I mean. Yes. I guess I'll <laughs> Even aiming, you're like, your head is burning as you're trying to aim all this distance. You're just like, oh, gosh. <laughs> what even is my name right now? <laughs> okay. Cool. Um, it is now Tyrion's turn. Um. Okay. I am going to... Um, I'm gonna call out to you, Lyris. You, Lyris, just run inside. I'm gonna spend. <laughs> like I wasn't already thinking. <laughs> <laughs> Peek at your face, you, Lyris. <laughs> um, hopefully this will help him out. Uh-huh. I'm gonna use two sorcery points for a quicken spell, and I'm going to, as a bonus action, cast darkness. Emanating from the lizard folk's foot. Okay. So a giant 15 foot radius orb of magical darkness up here. That's a good trap. Okay. It worked against Orla. Uh, and then I'm gonna use I'm gonna use my movement to run inside. Okay. Five, ten, fifteen. Okay. And. I have 30 feet of move. Okay, as you run in, uh, it's a long hallway, so you can get 30 feet, and as you're in there, you can see uh, three or four lizard folk have made their way in here, and they're engaging with that golem you saw, and it's just like pumbling them and not paying any attention to you, and as like some of them get crushed and all their bones collapse in, you can still see them like still trying to push up to fight this thing. What, the raptors? Uh, the lizard folk. I'm raptors gonna, are going sorry, down. Sorry, li- lizard folk, sorry. Yep. I'm going to keep... I'm gonna use my action to dash, and okay. I'm just I'm making progress to see if I can find stairs down. I'm gonna find try and look for stairs downwards. All right, um, give me a perception check as you're rushing in here, and they're to your like your right side. You're peeling off to the left, and you can see this beautiful like throne and all these clockwork ornaments all around. You can tell like gears are like etched into all the uh, uh, masonry work all throughout this castle. It would be Eight. very pretty. What is it? it would be Eight. Pretty. Eight. You're a little too distracted right now, but actually, it's the way it works out since you dashed, you can clearly see an area that goes deeper into the castle that should lead to stairs. Okay. And you can see the top are all busted in, and there's two stairs, one to the left, and one that goes... Uh, I, you don't know this. There's two there, and there's one with a bunch of... Uh, uh, raptors and lizard folk pouring out of the right entrance, and there's one that hasn't been busted open in the left entrance. I am going to be aiming for the one that they're not coming out of. Okay, cool. <laughs> Solid strat. All right. Um, Charnook, it is your turn. Room. Antilius. Do you have a plan? Um, should we go and get out of here? Either we fight them or we don't. Or we could I made that decision. <laughs> we could probably lose them if we uh, scatter the streets or maybe, I don't know, continue with the objective. I, I, don't, I don't know what to do at this point, but I don't want to fight that or really be in this situation at all. Well, either way, we have to help you, Iris. So. Six seconds. Yeah, I'm going to <laughs> use my movement to walk over by Iris. So. Okay. You will be entering the field of darkness. Okay. 
I'll say you can keep going in, but now you, you're completely encroached in darkness. 30. As you go into the darkness, you see... Uh, it's pitch black, you can't see anything, except those purple eyes on the creature, and you can see almost like smoke burning off them inside this darkness. Oh, he can totally see. Yep. <laughs> uh... Hunter knew that. I got Tyrion did not. I got to try and get his attention so he doesn't kill you. All right. Uh, I'm going to take two attacks, uh, aiming for the yellow spot on his chest. No, black. I remember there was a yellow spot on his chest. Did I ever say yellow? It was. There was something glowing in his chest. Yes, it was never yellow. Okay, something glowing in his chest. Yes, black. I, I will try and yellow. hit that. Really hard. Okay. And see if something happens. Go ahead and try. You'd be at disadvantage. Yes. Because you're in. Re- just re yeah, right. right. magical right. darkness. Right. Yep. <laughs> Why'd you roll two? No, no. If it cancels out, you had advantage. And then you're rolling at disadvantage. No, I didn't have advantage. Oh, you didn't? Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, I was just rolling two attacks. Oh, oh, I'm sorry. Okay, yeah, yeah, I'm sorry. Yeah, so one attack is a 13. And. The other, yeah, never mind. Through the darkness, you, you can't. Even though you see the glowing eyes, you're like, he should be right here, and it's just you're just whiffing right now. I will bonus action rage because I didn't. No, that. you rage to start this. I rage to start, but it drops if I don't take aggressive actions or I don't get attacked during a round, so I have to re-rage. Okay. Okay. Sure. Tell you, it's your turn. You see our Chernu go into the darkness, and you just hear these. <sighs> Okay. Uh, let me read something real quick here. Yeah, sure. You all can definitely think this one out. This is not a skill challenge. I'm going to hold my hand out and say presto. Okay. And Kabosh will come out of the. Uh, hey. I'll just appear with some sort of ethereal wind like this. Mm, Kabosh! Master! Hello, Master. It's been a while, yeah? Mm, Too long. Um, What is thy bidding? Could you uh, cause a distraction? You see that uh, blackness there? Yes. There's a uh, bit of trouble in there. Troublesome lad. Can, can, uh, Can you see if you have dark vision in that or no, Tyrion? Uh, dark vision, no. It's, it's magical dark vision. Or, sorry, magical dark vision. Should, should, you should. you would need, like, true sight or blind yeah. sight. So yeah. the, the djinn can't see through the no. darkness. Yeah, no, he That's can't. all I was looking at. That's okay. I just said, can you see the darkness? Sure. So. Yes, he, he can. I've just seen if he was on equal footing. Yeah, no. Okay. What did we do to his health? I forget. Um, It was, like, 40-something, I think. It's at 45 right now, but I can't remember. That's right or not. I, I don't remember if I changed it after we leveled I think up. it did. It, it's natural. Oh, his health. I'm sorry. Yes. yes. If he leveled up, he gets plus five every time he levels up. I don't up. remember. He started base 40. Okay. When you got it, you were at, he was at 40 health. What level was that? Um, I do you remember what level you guys... Was, was eight? I think it was eight. I think it was eight. eight. Probably around sure. eight. Sure. Then, yeah. You'll need it. So, yes. <laughs> Go ahead. Okay. So, that'd be 15 more points. He's at uh, 55. And like we homebrewed it. Yeah, that's, that's the why ring, I was like, I can't when the ring what is, we did. yeah, the ring has to be destroyed for you to lose yes. Kabosh. Yes. Mm-hmm. Not just kill Kabosh. That would be horrible. Or you know, Lich King gets him or some shit like that. Yeah. There's obviously other ways, but generally speaking, I hadn't I hadn't drawn up a Lich King coming down and taking Kabosh, so <laughs> don't have to be on the lookout for that right now. <laughs> right now. <laughs> and, uh, Never ruled yeah. out. Okay. That's no? my auction. I'm gonna just try to get. Uh, Roll an initiative for Kabosh. Nice. He's got five initiative. 
his initiative is uh, nine, oh, 20. Nice. So he actually goes before me. <laughs> Alright, and then I will walk uh, right here next to uh, you, Iris. Good old you, Iris, there. Yep. And I'll uh, bonus action healing word. Okay. With uh, the third level. Yeah, sure. Because I can see him. Because I'm next to him. Sure. I'm pulling aggro. <laughs> you just went through the fog and you were just pushing your hands out until he just finally feels Eulyrus and you hear a, ah! <laughs> and you're like, that's Eulyrus. And <laughs> Hello, is this Eulyrus? Yes. <laughs> All right, I'm going to help you out then. And I'll say some words of healing. Okay. I'm healing you. Nice. Ring. <laughs> <laughs> Just a little stroke of of tune there, tuning the old. Fourteen points of healing. Okay. Now you are that. Nice. So that's Talisa's turn. Eulyris, it is your turn. You're muted. You mute it. You mute it yourself. You mute it yourself. I was wondering why we were missing the exciting dialogue. Uh, yep. Okay, yes. what are you doing? Um, after he asked me to hand over the gem, I go, uh, I can't find it in all this darkness, and then I'm going to disengage and run into the castle. Okay. Um, you're not... Oh, yeah, you are, actually, technically. So, yeah, cool. Um, I would I would be in that. Yeah. We're all in it now. <laughs> Except for our So I'll disengage, and, that other and person. then I'll run to the castle. Yep. And then, and then use dash to get all the way to uh, Tyrion. I need you to make a intelligence saving throw. Uh, at least it's the good one. I hope so. <laughs> oh, and a good roll. Let's go. What yes. Is it? Okay, yes. So this is going to be 27. As you... Go and you you feel that disengage you're so used to all of a sudden, all these different versions of him. You're like, how did he get this close to me? And you're like, he couldn't have gotten this close to me. And you Aha! push through one of the sides of him, and the illusion dissipates, and you sprint into the castle. Well, I don't know. He's got 50 feet away. I so smart. Five, ten, fifteen, twenty. You push back Chernook. How far can you go? Uh, I can go forty. 40 total? Uh, without the dash. So 80 total. 80 total? 80 total. Okay. Uh-oh, it's time for another battle. Phase 2, boys! Phase I don't two. I don't think we get to see Phase 2 yet. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. Why are there like phase five two. maps over there? Holy crap. Because <laughs> 70, 70, 70, 80. 80. I'm seeing Man. spoilers. You are seeing spoilers. So you don't want to do that. Yeah, so don't right. use your eyes. Uh, I'm sorry. Oh, I'm I can't help it. Oh, I can't help it. Oh, I can't help it. I cast blindness on Zach. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's, he's, uh, he's starting to hit everything now. <laughs> All right. Cool. You, Iris, is that your turn? Anything else? Um, Full dash get you in there. You see the goal. I, I, I see the same stairs. Yep, you see all the same stuff I described to Tyrion earlier. Yeah, yeah, yep. yep. It's all looking the same, except you see the golem is doing decently well against these few lizard folk that got in there. Uh, it's just tanking them right now. Nice. Not interested okay. in you guys. We shall let it. Good. But there is a lot of dead bodies in here. You can see parts ripped about and all sorts of uh, clockwork oh, mechanisms God. destroyed, but... Um, can it, I tell which one uh, of the staircases goes down? Give me... Well, the, it, there was there was one that had a bunch of dinosaurs running. Yeah, into it. which they were above. So I'm assuming that was the that's the one coming down to this floor. So we, that would mean we would go up that way. So I'm hoping the other one's down. Okay. So smart you like this. Man. Well, we'll have to see. Assumption. We'll have to find out. Okay. Um, top of the order, Zeph, it's your turn. Uh, yeah, I'm just gonna walk up to where Orhana is. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna cast Rope Trick, and a rope will just drop down to the floor, and it'll go up to, I, I don't know if you know what the spell Rope Trick does, but, nope. uh, it's basically, it makes a vertical rope, uh, and at the top of the rope there is an invisible 
uh, hole, so to speak, that goes to a different dimension. Cool. Um, it's just like a little hideaway hole thing. Uh huh. And then I'll hide again. Okay. Then you go back. There's Orhana, you see a rope hit you in the head, and you see this person like look at you, and then <laughs> go away, and you'll hide over here this time. Twenty-six. Okay. Good to know. Okay. Um. All right. It is now his turn. Uh, kill me. No. Kill at the me. beginning of his turn. <laughs> at the beginning of his turn, you see the darkness dissipate, and you see uh, like as it dissipating, just some of this purplish color off his finger as he's pointing down to his foot and phew, it goes away. Um, okay. Give me an arcana check. Tell you, since you're right there. 21. 21. You recognize this as dispel magic. Okay. Not so. Um, as he does that, <laughs> a djinn. Yeah. He's my friend. He's your friend, old one. The fates have smiled upon me today to bring us together. And let's see. Kill me. <laughs> no, kill me. He sounds so happy to see us. But I know. Then he tries I to know. Kill he us. seems so friendly. <laughs> He's so Guys, confused. we could Amazing. heal turn now. We'd have such a cool leader. It's <laughs> <laughs> like all these amazing people coming Give here. Give me a charisma. Today. I need. I need you to roll persuasion check. Yeah. Oh shit. What's happening? I don't, I don't know. It's a charisma off. <laughs> <laughs> As you talk to him, you see him just sort of his entire intenseness loosens a little bit and he starts to step a little closer. Um He's gonna touch you. <laughs> Bad touch. <laughs> As he takes his big <laughs> step forward. What do you remember, old one? Uh, about what? Anything of your past. Does your... Does Jin attack him as he gets closer to you? Did you have that set up or anything? Because you point him towards the darkness. All I said was that there was, like, a, some tr a troublesome bot. Okay. That's all I said. I don't think I committed him to do anything. Okay. I think he said distraction. Oh, you did yeah. say distraction. Yeah. Okay. So, um... Belly dancing. That's, that's definitely going to trigger that's that. Alright, um, do you have an idea of what you want him to do? Otherwise, I can do something, but if you had specifically uh, something in mind. Something wind. Wind related? Yes. Alright. He has the world on spell. Does. Yep. Kabash! As he sees you getting closer, he's like, Stand back, master! <laughs> and uh, he creates a whirlwind. Such a good boy. <laughs> uh, Best dog ever. <laughs> DC 18... Don't say that to him. Strength? <laughs> uh, 32? I don't think he has a negative stat. <laughs> Reed, you can't just make somebody with everything. Come on. Yeah, you can. He's the DM. What the heck, dude? Who are we? You will learn pawns. in time. Who are we but the pawns in this his world? Okay, so he's still gonna... What kind of damage is this? Is it any damage? Oh, no. It's just trying to... I don't know if it's damage. The whirlwind? Yeah. Yeah, it's yeah, just... It doesn't really. It just makes... It pushes damage. people up. The yeah. damage comes when they fall back down. Yeah. And he's and restrained by it. So five foot of the digit gives with hundred feet. The whirlwind lasts as long as you maintain concentration. Yeah. Any creature but the digit that enters the whirlwind must succeed that or be saved or be restrained by it. The digit can move. But does he is the creature restrained by the whirlwind move with it? Yeah, so if he doesn't He saves, does fail, anything happen? Then, no, nothing happens. It's oh. just windy. It's just windy AF right there. Okay, so like as a sick <laughs> metal singer you from see, the eighties. As that happens, you see you. <laughs> as, <laughs> as you see him just walking through on the fact he's like mmm, mmm, and he gets in front of you and put, goes in between and he gets in front of the two of you puts his hand up and just like personal space I love and you see him just so like please no <laughs> yeah he's just kind of pushing him down and um, he's just like what do you 
Kabosh. <laughs> and he's gonna attack Kabosh. God damn it. Um. <laughs> well, I'll just persuade our way out of this one, like I do with everything. You're the bard. You have to have sex with it. <laughs> <laughs> he's gonna cast hypnotic pattern on it. He's gonna look. You don't want to be here. Oh, um, Jedi mind trick. <laughs> <laughs> Hypnotic pattern is a DC save. Give me a wisdom save for him. Modifiers oh. plus three. Uh, 21. Fuck! Sorry. As you see him, <laughs> no, I do want to be here! <laughs> <laughs> and you see him, <laughs> kink! <laughs> and, he oh, puts, he's gone. <laughs> and he puts two attacks into him. He's gone. <laughs> uh, oof. Natural he's, 20. He's gone. Oh. <laughs> It's fine. Natural 20, and so that would be a 35 to hit, and a, a 28 to hit, Always or 20, 27 to hit. Also hits. Okay. Let's roll the first one. Uh, Where are you? There it is. Long Blade Sorrow. Thanks, man. At least Justin can pick up the groceries. Actually, I, I literally just said that I could. <laughs> <laughs> Where are you going? Um, Our camp. That's for a few days. Oh! Do it. He's dead. He's we know dead. he's dead, Reed. Yeah, Is it dead. possible for him to do less than like 50? 64 minutes? for the first yes, attack. Okay, he's gone. Slashing. After the first okay. attack, he's gone. But you guys get to learn. We already know. Plus 20 necrotic. It's so that was 84 flat. total. Flat. As he just. <laughs> that can one hit me. <laughs> As oh. Kabash goes like boom, and he looks at you and is like, "My master." It's not the first time he said that. Well, we're in a lot of situations where Kabash is uncomfortable with us being. I feel like we should listen to Kabash. He's looking out for you. <laughs> I'll be honest with you. Um, so Kabash again dissipates, and you see him. Gah! What do you remember? That ends his turn. Uh, so now it is Orhana's turn, and you just saw a rope come down. <laughs> As you come up with your migraine, you come up and you can clearly see this individual that you want to describe yourself, Zeph? Uh, yeah, so my clothes are kind of tattered. It's like browns and earthy tones. Uh, you can see I'm wearing like belt, like a belt and uh, like van braces. Uh, and then also my the scabbard on my sword are all very ornate. Uh, they're like elven make, you would say. Um, you can't really see his face, it's kind of covered by a, a cloth, uh, but he's got dark black hair. Uh, that's basically all you can see currently. Okay. You Put see that in front of you that just tossed down the rope to you. Okay. I'm gonna just kind of look over, not say anything. <laughs> <laughs> right on. Okay. Do you want to do anything else this turn? Um, the darkness dissipates, you see just gushing blood from Charnook right now as he's... <sighs> Oh, with the vicious great sword in your hands looking at this massive lizard folk that's like starting to curl around and this very inquisitive look as he's coming up on Tellius. Um, so when I get up there, can I like peek around the corner and see Charnook? Uh, absolutely. Okay, I don't know if that thing is supposed so this would be to five, ten feet of your movement to get you up here. Uh-huh. And then it would be five, ten feet. You can see around that. Okay, perfect. I'll stay there. Okay. Um, so I'm actually going to shoot at Charnook. Okay. An arrow, one of those ones yep. that I did the healing stuff with. Absolutely. So I'm roll like, to hit him. What the frick? Yep. So Orhana, seeing that, still remembering, <sighs> I can do something. Knocks her bow. It's okay, I have a low AC. Pulls it back. Not low enough. What did, what is your hit? What's your roll? <laughs> I rolled a 13. <laughs> so Give me dex. Roll. Give me a dex save. Okay, I have advantage on those. And I'll even say Orhana's like, Charnook! Okay. Try and get his attention. Because <laughs> uh, what the heck? <laughs> 16. 16. <laughs> with the uh, turns. <laughs> Catch it. <laughs> All right. And how much did that heal for? Just one? Uh, or, or was it... A, no, you upgraded it, didn't you? I think so, yeah. I think I'm pretty sure you did. You rolled for that, tinkering. Yeah. I can't... Man, I wish I remember. Is it like a D4 now? Because I don't think it's a lot yet. We didn't get up that way. You, you were still working your way through all that. Yeah, so it wasn't much. It was, I think it was like maybe like 1d4. All right, go ahead and roll a d4, either of you, whoever wants to roll it. You can roll it. Go ahead. And you can heal that much. Ha! As you feel the... It's a four! 
the the teachings of the gray hand and your tinkering coming together with these devices and nice. Charnook <sighs> heals a little bit. Thanks. I think I'll try to shoot him again, because... Yeah. Oh, 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 yes! Pocket me! Yeah. If only it was That's a 19. That, that's, that's better. Like, right in your neck, and you're like, oh, well, maybe not so much there! That's only a one that time. Okay. <laughs> and this time, I'm gonna ha- try to hit the bad guy. Okay, go for it. Go ahead and try. We'll try. Can I re-roll that? They rolled under her phone. Oh, yeah, sure. Okay, okay. Ten cocks, sure. Well, that's not that one, so that doesn't it. <laughs> um, as the arrow shoots off, you see Tellius like, <laughs> as he sees Orhana, Orhana being like, <laughs> <laughs> on top of a building, a few hundred feet away. Um, he's not interested whatsoever. Uh, it is now Tyrion's turn, so okay. okay. I am gonna keep running towards those stairs. All right, um, we're going to start moving things away right now that we don't need on here. So, I got to get the new battle map. Ah! Um, could you take all this away? Oh, the tower looks I'm so g- nice. I'm going to move the tower, get too. to go in there. You can't, oh, I guess you don't have to take that side map off yet, then. I, I, take I that side, take oh, that side. Okay, okay. Well, we can this move is that. hefty. It sure is. It's good. good dwarven forge. Yep, it's expensive. I saw on the one shot, Matt, it didn't even look like much. The Dwarven Forge from yesterday's wedding one shot. And that was easily like three thousand dollars, the Dwarven Forge. Classic. I-, I could see each of those parts, I'm like, you're insane. Mr. Murphy, <laughs> I bet they provide a cash. I think they do, but he also says he buys a lot of it. Oh yeah. And these are the like the roadblocks you guys remember from before, how they were coming up. And yours was the only way. I mean, the they probably have like a budget for purchasing yeah, they yes. probably do. DM supplies. Or maybe they don't. They just let Matt go wild. Yep. He, 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 <laughs> he has an admitted uh, problem. What do you say? A minute addiction to miniatures. He owns tons of them. But they're so cool looking. <laughs> I think he just cares yeah, so much. And he oh my so goodness. That it's just like, what else, man? Sorry. We have to push everything back since everybody's okay. still here. We can pull what the map. What do you need from us? Which way? Pull the map towards you. Uh, yeah, let's do that. I'm gonna move this guy now. I need to just get this over. Ah! It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Here we go. Stress. Okay. Put that on. All right. So this is good enough for that. That works. Cool. Cool. Oh, it's that. your boy, the Golem. Um, <laughs> shout out to Golem. Golem, bro. G. Golem. Tyrion, Elyris, Stairs. Lizard folk coming out, engage with Golem. Blah, blah. I'm pissed now. All right. All right. 30 feet towards the open stair. Okay. So, 5, 10, 15. Um, they both turn on you. Uh, they can take an attack of opportunity if you're running. I'm going to use my action to disengage then. Booyah. Cool. All right, and then and 20, then eight more raptors 30. appear in your vision. As you burst through this door, um, you can hear uh, the clanking of plates, but uh, you don't hear any monsters. Okay, anything else? Uh, bonus action to drink a healing potion. Okay. Uh, <laughs> as Tyrion is like limping, limping through the halls here, he takes a, a healing potion. Uh, oh man, that's only five. Yeah. Womp womp. Womp womp. All right. It's something. Charnook. And that is every. Cool. Charnook and Tellius. Be my guest. Oh, uh, it's got to go up higher. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not sure what I need to do. I love that intro to this. 
it's the battle against the new hero, and when it has like the violins that are just going higher and higher. I'm gonna mm. stop moving away from him. Okay. Strange. Okay, which way? Towards the door. It's right behind you. This is how you get in the castle. I want to keep an eye on him to see if he does anything. Shifty. Five feet will get you there. He's not even gonna take an attack against what you. What does he look like he's doing? He's just moving towards Tellius in a very interesting manner. He's like getting down on one knee and leaning into Tellius. We're gonna make it. Definitely. I'm going. <laughs> okay. Inside, so that's five. I have eight. Uh, 40 feet normally. 10, 20, 30, 40. You can see the goal on my smash. <laughs> <laughs> I'll use my action to dash. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40. Are there any monsters on the way, just in my path? All I'm... dead bodies. <sighs> All bodies everywhere. Dwarfs, raptors, uh, clockwork parts, all cleared out. All right. Hey, Tyrion. How are things? Uh, I'm already gone. That's he's, he's around the corner. Who am I, Lyris? Yeah, who am I? Elyris. Hey, Elyris. As Elyris is like his his neck is healed a little bit from Tullius. You can see him still, still rubbing it, and he looks up to you. How are things going in here? Oh, you know, just another day. We gotta get a better job, dude. I like the bar, and that's my turn. <laughs> okay, it is now Tullius' turn. I'm not gonna attempt to draw a weapon or anything. All right. <laughs> All right. <laughs> <laughs> Let me sing you a song of my people. And, uh, I'll play a chord. Okay. I'll play E chord. Okay. That's a good chord. And... I don't know E chord, so I can't be like, ring. I don't know the tone of it. You can turn on the computer and do it. All right. I meant piano. I'm becoming my father. <laughs> That's it. Put a gun in my mouth. <laughs> Stop that. How oh, is it? Just nice. Interesting. Nice. All right. E chord. Beautiful. That's an E chord. In case you didn't know how to play an E chord. Now I do. <laughs> All right. Let's go. All right. <clears throat> um. And. Here's a question. Could I give myself inspiration while also telling him about my past? I don't see why not. All right. Cool. I'm pretty sure Bards can inspire themselves at a certain level. The situation. I'm sure. Yeah, it's a subclass thing? I don't know. Whatever. Uh, it's more just for flavor. Yeah. It's fine. As your nerves are shaking, Tullius, for the first time you're starting to feel this fear as this massive creature is in front of you, staring in, just so interested to see you. Anything? Do you see anything? Um, I didn't, but it's been coming back in flashes here and there. Hmm. What do you know? Oh, natural twenty. Him? Pieces. I know pieces as well. Do you mean to say you don't remember much either? Not before this. So, I recently had an encounter with someone, and I had been getting pieces here and there, but this was a, a, a bit longer. a deep, a deep one that came back to me. Um, it was someone I knew, very close to me. I, I loved her. She was a, an elf. Her name was Melody. Melody. Oh, and your turn. <laughs> All right. Uh, Eliris. <laughs> your turn, Eliris. Uh, I'm going to follow Tyrion, and if I have to use disengage, I will. Um, yep. 
5, 10, 15, 20, 25. Ah! 20, 30, 35, 40. You catch up to Tyrion. Okay. Uh, what do I see ahead of me? Um, doors. How many? Just one. One set of double doors right here. Oh, just one set of doors? Yep. Um, I'm not buying more doors. <laughs> Is this path on the diagram that was written to us, or is this just completely different way? This, well, you guys don't... You only knew how to get into the castle. It didn't map uh, out how to get all the way down there. Um, okay. But what you have noticed is you're going downstairs right now. Okay, well, that's good. Both you and Tyrion uh, are, are going downstairs like this. Yeah! <laughs> I'm going to use... Uh, so I use disengage as a bonus action. I'm going to use my action to dash. Okay. Give me a strength check to burst through the door. Yeah, I get get through the doors. Yeah. Give me strength check. Strength check. Oh, strength check. Sorry. Missed that. Ooh. All right. Um. That is a four. Oh Jesus! Well, good thing they're like slidey doors. So as you you go to burst through the door, you just hit it like your funny bone. You lead with that, Eulirus, and just ah. wax open into this b kitchen. And you're like, ah, ah, in there, and you see all these little dwarfs and uh, gnomes inside there, looking around for like knives and stuff. As you can see, like ah, ah, a uh, a raptor, Jurassic Park style, chasing around uh, some of these individuals, but it does not see you, nor seems interested in you at the moment. That's good. I like hearing that. Just use these for now, as these two are just hiding around the corner from it, and as you actually have enough speed to get around the raptor, and you look into this beautiful hall, that it's clear that this is where um, everyone who works in the castle dines and eats. Uh, because it's so large, and it has all the different servants in there, and you can see uh, bodies in here, and just both raptor and human body or dwarven bodies, gnome bodies, <laughs> no bodies, half bodies, uh, halfling bodies, just strewn across. You can only see like a couple dwarfs, like <sighs> not in armor. None of them seem prepared for this as they're <clears throat> uh, moving over. Despite the city being under attack, this side definitely seemed like more a leisure area. This was more the recouping area, and they weren't ready for a strike this quick as you come in here. Uh, but in here, you do see another set of doors to your right and another set of doors to your left. And that's it for your movements. So that'll end your turn. Oh, that'll end my turn? All right. Yep. Zeph, your turn. Uh, I'm just going to pull my rope up. Yep. Uh, and I'll turn to Orhana and I'll say, uh, what are your friends doing in the castle? Ooh, give me an intelligence check if you can remember. <laughs> <laughs> So that would actually put me at a 17. Oh, nice! It, you keep losing this thought. Why were we here? Why were we here? You keep grabbing it, but just that pain in your head. Let's it go, let's it go. And then finally comes back to you here for the Paragon Light to get Shalmir, to bring him back to life. I tell him that. Cool. <laughs> and I'll just uh, stay hidden. Stay hidden? Okay. Give me another self check. You, sir. Uh, 25. 25, nice. Okay. I mean, honestly, I could be with my family. As, as he leans into you on his turn, you gave me a little of yours. I'll give you a little of what I remember. Oh, God. I wasn't always like this. And then I was. I used to call a place home. But I went for a long walk into the waters. We were getting sick. And this is what we did to not burden our tribe, our pride. But I did not die. And that's how I became the undying. I woke up like this. Face is a mystery. But they were until the most recent memory, the one I told you. <sighs> they come and go, this little 
he clicks on the little thing in the center of his chest. I get bits of how this happened, but it hasn't come back yet. I, I just hear voices every so often. I get riddles. Riddles? Yeah. I hear voices right now. Yeah, you don't want to know. That ends his turn. <laughs> All right. Uh... Orhana, your turn. Great distraction right now. <laughs> I got you. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm still outside this castle. Yeah, you guys are, are here, but it's only like 5'10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35 nope. feet to get to here. <laughs> See ya. Okay. Good talk. Uh, bye. But it looks like the bad guy's still outside, too. Yeah, he's just talking to Tellius right now, not fighting him. Well, then I'm going to shoot him. <laughs> Middle of war. Just going to chit chat. Yep. <laughs> you, you, yeah, okay, go ahead. Okay. Yeah. I can look. We're just chilling. So that's a 19, which doesn't hit. <laughs> 22. Nope. Nope. Gosh, Emily, don't you know you need more than a plus 10 modifier? <laughs> I'm trying, okay? As man. the arrows keep sailing towards, <laughs> just totally not, just like, not as... even phasing anything. Wait, you had a 22, though? <laughs> Yes. I'm going to say on that 22, as they're talking, you can still see, like, madness, lizard folks coming by, and they're like, ah! <laughs> <laughs> they get hit with an arrow, because they're also pushing by and everything, so you can roll damage against a madness lizard folk that's going by, because <laughs> that definitely could happen, and what <laughs> would be nine happening. Damage nine it, damage. Nine so. damage. <laughs> 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 as it continues pushing through, That's and as as actually later. as it gets hit, a uh, minute madness minotaur comes by and just <laughs> cracks it and pushes it against the sign, <laughs> and it gets up as the minotaur is moving through as well. They're fighting themselves. I uh, just kind of oh, just like get he was away. just knocking them out of the That's way. Hilarious. Not so much fighting. That's hilarious. Um. Okay, it is Tyrion's turn. Um, uh, I am gonna keep moving forward alongside, uh, Eliris. But I'm gonna use my action to toss out my Iron Stone of Fortitude. <gasps> activate that. Cool. Neat. Right. So it's floating, it's a little pebble floating two feet from my head. How far fast is your movement? Uh, 30 feet. That gets you right to the main grand dinner hall as you see the raptor in here. Give me a stealth check. As you get in here, you're like, not to get its attention. 13. 13? Oh, nice. Um, nice and, and then I'm going to use a... My bonus action, I'm going to... Where to go? Um, convert a first level spell slot yep. into two sorcery points. Cool. Look at this right. guy. He's playing sorcery. As you, you feel oh. that... <laughs> Let's go, dude. Um, you hear something. Kill yourself. Not so whoa, much. Whoa, 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 whoa. You will, whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> Whispers. <laughs> You never know what those warlock patients will say, you know what I mean? I thought he was dead. You never know. Didn't Orloth kill him? You never she know. She executed him. You never know. We saw it happen! <laughs> you never know. I'm just saying, look into it, man. I'm looking into it. I saw know. a dead Baylor. <laughs> you never know. Um... I like not having to leave the room. This is nice. <laughs> um, with all that, you also see like uh, a crow rush by you. Anyway, um, it is now Charnook's turn. Nope, yes, Charnook and Tellius' turn. I run for the with my friends. Okay, I got forty feet of movement. Five, ten, fifteen. These guys have definitely poured into here by now. All right, see you later. That one's done. They're in here, but two more have definitely pushed through here. And you got a uh, good opportunity attacks on you. I'll disengage. Uh oh, can you do that normally? Yeah, as an action. Okay, I can. that's your action to disengage. And I guess How much was, you have left? I have thirty feet more. Ten, twenty, thirty. Get you to the door with the raptor now. Coming up on those guys. I look back. Are they following me? 
Uh, no, they really they they see the other thing. They both <laughs> and you see the other one's like <laughs> being tossed across the room, smashing into it <laughs> as they start rushing towards. I will the think about my golem, my taken clansmen. I will continue my rage. Okay. Cool. That's my turn. All right, Tellius. As he's talking to you, can you can just see. All the scratches and damage you guys have been doing, you can see the plates on him just coming back to naturally. Your turn. Um, so, you're a part of a tribe, yeah? I believe so. I think I was too. <clears throat> do, you, do you feel as though you have a purpose here? I feel I was sent away for some reason, abandoned everything I knew. For what, I don't know. But it seems like you, uh, you're in a similar predicament as I. You hear in your head, what was lost must be found. And then a memory kicks in. What the? <laughs> <laughs> you totally is. You see yourself very rapid, quick, like electrons firing in your head. You see yourself yeah. with your family, other people like you. They then you're in ceremonious gowns and they're holding and push, giving you things, and you make a joke. And you see everybody like Jesus Christ. <laughs> <laughs> you can see stuff. With your, your mother and your father shaking their heads and your uncle that you remember from the previous one, his arm around you, the one that had the scar and everything, just you feel this really visceral connection and love for your uncle and how he's almost consoling you as your parents are arguing in the other room. You see that portal once again that you step through. Um, that mural that you guys originally saw broken is fixed and full in this vision. And again, you can see yourself there and you can see these orbs around you. And then the last thing you see is uh, this glowing orb in front of you swirling, this big, bright orb. And you see yourself pushing it up to the up high and all these other people bowing down in one of your visions with all the the, scar- the robes on. And, and that comes back. I was taken, I think, from my family. Not so much on a quest. The fates, they seem to continue to take us in all directions. One of which wants to know how you got here. Here, like this age and time, or like here? Yes. His hands are now like coming close to you and they're almost like your fucking height, but you're really tall, so it's just like... It's not, but it's it's enough yeah. to be like, as it's coming down, you're starting to feel this pressure on you of, uh, he's getting real close, and he could grapple you pretty easily now. Yep. And the portal is all I remember. <laughs> I know, it's shocking development. <laughs> <laughs> portal. Yeah. I think there was, uh, some sort of ceremony something and these and it's like the eyes this entire time are just this like purple fire that's like burning up out of his eyes and you can and you're just seeing as he's leaning close enough a little bit of those like lizard like pupils as he's getting real close and you can even see a little bit under his eyes where there might be skin under all this plated uh, uh, scales all over his body Are we adversaries? I don't think so. I think we're just two people traveling a similar path who happen to cross at a point in time. I'm seeking answers and the safety of my friends, but I don't think we have any quarrel with you. (laughs) Give me a persuasion check. You still got that inspiration. <laughs> uh, What'd you get? Um, 
16. 16? He's just staring deep into your soul and you can just feel the pulsating of this individual in front of like his eyes, just the heat he produces just being this gigantic creature. <clears throat> I don't think we're adversaries either. I Why are you here? I was just about to ask you the same <laughs> thing. Uh, we were... A big grin comes across his face. We were sent here to free the Paragon of Light. Is that what you're here for? We are here for the Paragon. I have no idea what yeah. we're meant to do with it, but... Oh, no. We're simply here to set it free. As a, a debt to someone. Let us set it free. He backs up. <clears throat> Wait a minute. As, as this is happening, like, a... Um, uh, eluded folk starts to come by and you see like about to lean into you and you see him just like <coughs> cut it with the, the thing and just whoom, whip, whip it across you see him what is even happening <sighs> so what are we doing friends. friends these are not my friends these are barbaric creatures that have lost their minds they could not break mine and as he starts to turn, he starts walking towards the, the from the castle. Wait, what you mean they? As he turns to you. The lizard folk. They've given in to the madness and the voices in their head. Not me. Not I. I've never seen anything like this. Do you know where it comes from? <laughs> hey, they're not fighting. <laughs> As he turns to you, I could show you where it comes from. But is that a path you want to walk? I don't know. I want to maybe find out more. Ooh! You see him? Ah! Ah! Mm. Ah! No! Ah! He looks at you. Ah! Ah! Run! Alright, right, you gonna run? Yep. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so that was like eight rounds for us, right? Uh, <laughs> yes. Yes. That was a lot. <laughs> yes, absolutely. For us to keep running down this hallway. Yes. So as that exchange went on. Can I say the signs? You're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> Talia starts sprinting off as you see him like uh, his fingernails scratching in Fuck. and through his scales. As, ah! Oh, we were friends. And as you start peeling back, you can see him like, ah! He grabs like one of the Minotaur that come by, and you see his hand come up, and you just see this blackness, and <clears throat> blows it all through the Minotaur, and you just see him like covered in this madness. And you oh. see him just, ah! and the Minotaur is just like, can't even handle this overdose, and just poof, to the oh, ground. No. And you see him like, ah! trying to come back to his senses. Fuck. Um, I triggered him. Oh, no. Okay. Seized? What? So. Continue. You guys are running through these areas, pushing through. Which way are you going in the doors, Ulyris? And, uh, to, oh, actually, what's the order? It was, whose turn was that? Tellius's? Yes. So it's Ulyris' turn. Yes. Uh, so there were two doors, one to the left. Left, right, one to the right. Good luck metagating um, with all the different angles. And they're flipped in cameras, too, so. <laughs> I'm here I, for you. I've really been looking. Good. Um... Can I tell which one? <laughs> They're doors, There's, my guy. Yeah, like, um, how far apart are they? The entire length of the hallway, so that would be uh, 5, 10, 15, 20 feet one way, 20 feet the other way. It's actually way bigger, but for the sake of okay. not making this 10,000 years long, it's okay. 20 feet. Um, can I go to the one to the right and just open it and see what's that way? Sure. You know, Iris, 
walks over, opens up the door, and you can see barracks. Tons and tons of barracks uh, with all empty at this point. There doesn't seem to be any soldiers in here. There's a little, like, fountain, and you can tell all sorts of stuff has just been thrown about in a haste to try and get some sort of weapons defense on and uh, stop this revolt. Um, is that, like, a dead end? <laughs> does not look like a dead end. Okay. Um... Hmm... Can I run over to the other door and look through that one? That would be 40 feet of movement to get all the way back. Well, I, I can, I'll dash. Okay. Like whatever. As you open up to the next door, as you run across and Tyrion Senior, he's like, what, what are you doing? <laughs> what are you doing? As you run all the way back across the room, you look in the other door and you see the end of a hallway as it turns the corner. It's a very short hallway and it has a left corner. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Um, just really generic yeah he he has 45 feet of movement so if he dashes that's 80 feet okay so you still have plenty of movement and you can even check around the yeah. corner i'll check around the corner you go a few more feet you turn around the corner so it's like uh you look straight you walk down a hard right angle you look down and there's another hard right angle cutting back towards uh what you think is the kitchen towards the kitchen that's what you think based on your geometry and Elias's intelligence he would know that and there's not another door, like, into the kitchen. There might be. So, what I'm saying is, so, like, um, if, in my head, if I drew that out, it would run back into the kitchen? Potentially. And there wasn't another door in the kitchen? You couldn't really see past the raptors and the two people about to be eaten by it. You didn't really glance in that room very hard. You only saw the first door on your right to get into the main hall. Okay. Well, I'm going to bet that because there was another room that that's going downstairs. So I'm going to keep going as far as I can. Okay. So with that movement, you were here at, so it was 20, then 20, plus 5, and then 5, 10, 15, 20. You turn the corner, open up the door, and a raptor <laughs> is lunging at the gnomes in front of you as you open up the door to the kitchen. Nope. Close it. <laughs> oh. <laughs> it pounces and starts ripping at the door as the other one's like, no, nah! stabbing it with a butcher knife. As you, right. But it's one of those turn doors. As you now know, this is a server room. This is where all the waiters and all the cooks would come oh, through with the food. Okay. okay. Uh, whatever. I'm just going to go back, and I'm going to... I used a bonus action to dash. Can I just use an action as well to dash and just go as no, far no, as you, I can? No, you'd back? have to use your action to dash. You can't bonus action to dash. Yeah, you can. He's a rogue. Oh, I hate rogues. Yeah, he's a rogue. <laughs> oh, I hate him, Mom. So I'm going to use both to yeah. dash. They yeah. can dash, disengage, and hide Jesus as a bonus Christ. action. Yep. You liars literally just like... <laughs> it goes back, and you're back into the... Fueled the, by the lust the for discovery. Hashtag rogue life. <laughs> you're you're inside the front. The, Am I back to the barracks? Yeah, you're in the front of the barracks by a fountain. Uh, that's as far as I can get? Yep. Okay, I'll, I'll stay there, the and I'll the yell barracks. to Tyrion. Tyrion, this way! All right. Okay. Zeph, it's your turn. I knew I had a lot of movement uh, to work with. <laughs> where is the uh, large lizard folk at this point? He is by where Tullius was, and he's leaning against the wall right now, shaking at his head. Where did Tullius go? Into the palace. Into the palace? Yep. Okay. Um, yeah, I'll just hold my action to dash to follow Orhana if she moves. Okay. Sounds good. Uh, I now believe it is his turn. He has to make a Christmas saving throw. You can do it. Nope. You see him? And punches through an entire wall and just rips that wall to the side and throws it. And he's still uh, twisting and turning right now. And that's going to end his turn. Oh, shoot. Uh, so it is now Orhana's turn. Then Tyrion. You're like way over there. I know. Where's everyone else? Uh, in the castle. Tully, did you leave? I forgot. Yeah, you did. Yeah. I didn't go that far, though. I only have 30 feet of movement. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. So I can probably, so I'd probably see him outside, right? Yep, you can still see him behind you. He's, like, right here behind you. Okay. Well, then, might as well head inside. All right, both Zeph and Orhana at the same moment go and use their movement, 510. Jump, give me a flex check, both of you, as you jump down to see if you take any damage. That 
athletics or acrobatics? Sure. 22. Nope. All right, well, let's... Oh, Jesus. Uh, it's a nine. You take five points of falling damage, you take two. Damn. It's only ten feet. Uh, and then, what's your movement speeds? I am 30. 30? 30 as well. 30, then you can dash. Are you dashing well, I can't dash, because my, yeah, sure. my action was the dash action, but... Oh, your action was you were holding your action, sure. Right. Okay, well that will get you just inside as you turn in here, and then 30 will get you here as you go past Tullius, and you're like, what's going on? <laughs> 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 All right. Um, oh, you know what? Fuck. Because that's going to take so many rounds, Tullius is still talking with him, so you guys are ahead of time. So oh, okay. we'll just say, for the sake of what's happening... You guys are going in anyway. Uh, just to make our lives easier and stop splitting the party. Okay. But you can do whatever you want. Um, Tyrion, your turn. Uh, I'm going to go the direction uh, you, Lyris, and indicated to me through the barracks. All right. You continue. Do. Sure. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40. What's your feet? I have 30 feet. 30? Oh, you're right there with him then. Put and then I will dash with my action. And push him all the way through, and you see just tons of bunk beds. Put him by the bed, bring and bring his. the bring his identifier, his red little identifier. Oh. Come on, man. It's all torn through, but it doesn't look like the violence has gotten this far yet. It got stopped at the kitchen, and you you can hear in the hallways the shouts of these creatures getting louder and louder as uh, the castle itself from upstairs sounds to be like shaking. And then that I still have that way forward. Yes, and you can clearly see a door at the end of the hallway. It looks like a storage a room. And there's a door at the end of the storage room. Okay. That's it. Okay. Uh, then that will be Charnook and Tellius. Tellius is talking, so Charnook and Ulyris. Charnook first. Right. There's only one raptor in you, right? Yep, it's and right now chomping down on a dwarf. And his other friend is trying to stab at it. I'll use some of my moves. Sure. One, two, three, four, five, so that's 25. 25. Yep. I'll take two swings at the raptor to keep my rage up and also sure. help people. Sure, do it. Uh, so the first one is a 13. 13 hits. All right. And the second one is a 27. Hits. All right. Uh, do you <laughs> and then, so that was three, seven... 12, 24 damage total. You see the raptor going to the wall and its entire like spine snaps as it gets hit into there and falls motionless to the ground. You need to hide and then I keep moving. Okay. Uh, 5, 10, 15, 20. Uh, wait, no. As you run off, you see him just lean on the body of the dwarf and just start crying as you peel off. Okay, and you can see both Ulyris and Tyrion being like, this way, and Tyrion going through. Um, it is now Ulyris' turn. All right. Um, and I see Charnook coming down as I'm going in, right? Yeah, as you look back, you can see Charnook enter the dining hall. Charnook, follow us this way! And then I'm going to go in, dash, What whatever. did you think I was going to do? Well, there's two doors. <laughs> I just wanted to make sure we right. got your attention. You get all the way it's to the storage pretty, pretty. door, and as you get up to the door, it's locked, and you can't get through. So put uh, Ulyris all the way at that door. Okay, okay. Um, but you... I'll be use your bonus action dash. I hate you. Bonus action dash. Can I... Uh, Do can I pick it. the lock? You can attempt to. Okay. How was that done again? Proficiency plus... Yep. Dex. Dex. Yep. Uh, 16. 16. Oh, this clockwork device is just so foreign to you. You're trying to get it, and you, and you can find the tumblers are in a completely Crap. different area than normal, and as you're pushing it through, you're able to just, like, twist ever so slightly, and you're really sweating here. Huh? Nice. Able to get the door open. Oh, I got it. Hi. 
Didn't just, expect that to happen. Just barely. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Why am I so sweaty? <laughs> okay. And um, all my movement as well? Yes. Okay. Uh, do I see? Can I? Am I able to see in the next room? Stairs and stairs. There seems to be tons of stairs spiraling down. Down. Yeah. Perfect. That's what we're looking for. <laughs> yeah. Yes. All right. Stairs. <laughs> Trash. Uh, <laughs> Zeph, it's your turn. Uh, I guess. Do I have any idea where they went? Uh, you know where the creature is outside because of your hunter's mark. Uh, right. You can see Orhana rushing in here as well, rushed past you. You can see these madness lizard folk slowly making progress on this golem in here, but it's still... What kind of golem is it? uh, It's like a, think, Skyrim Dwarven uh, Centurion. Yep. That's very much what it is. Um, You can tell there's no doors anywhere else, so (laughs) you, you can... You gotta guess, like, they either went left... Or they're in the bo- pile of bodies by the golem. I'll go left then. All right, so uh, <laughs> 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30 feet of movement. Uh, I'll use all actions dash, so 90 feet. 60, 70, 80, 90. Yep, those guys aren't even there at this point. Um, they're probably on the. What you do is you feel a castle shake as give me a wisdom check. <laughs> wonder what that could be. Uh, it's 13. 13? You feel like something big has hit the castle. Um, <laughs> all right. And as you're running through here, you just barely catch Charnu clobbering this raptor and then saying, this why, as he walks through. Um, you definitely said hide. You definitely said hide. So that's fine. <laughs> I don't care. I'm not trying to bring some random gnome. No, he's crying over the body. That's so, fine. Uh, that's fine. Well, Hannah, your turn. Boy, poor Tullius. <laughs> He's been a distraction. They're all going to be whoo- way the fuck out of here. <laughs> He's the hero that we need. Someone had to die. Well, he likes I you. Mean, He's not going to kill you. Uh, He's going to try not uh, to kill you. <laughs> <laughs> so, I think I'll stay where I am. Um, but when the conversation starts looking weird, mm-hmm. like from a distance... I'm gonna like hold an arrow. And okay. I'm gonna shoot when it starts looking weird. All right. Orhana t- turns and has an arrow knocked as it's still talking to Tullius right now, back and forth inquisitively. Oh, nice. You're not abandoning. Okay. Kill cool. Me. <laughs> Kill me. And in, in uh, Justin's famous phrasing. Kill uh, me. Kill uh, me. Tyrion, Charnook, Tullius. <laughs> uh, not Tullius. <laughs> Tullius. Charnook. So just for the sake of brevity, Tyrion, Charnook, Gilaris, all white now, all at the same time. What are you doing? Uh, I'm running going. down those stairs. Going All right. down the stairs. <laughs> it's pitch black down here. Do you have dark vision? I do. I do. Lead right. the way. Trying to, do you have dark vision? Uh, nope. You, you can't get there yet, though, so you're all right. Yeah. All right, you guys are going down these stairs, feet, and it's so like these, 10, 20, it's very 40, 40, uh, boxy, 50, 60, the way you guys are going. It's like one of those, uh, when you're in a hotel and you look up, and you're like, ah, when you're walking all those stairs. It's very much yeah. what you're doing, and uh, how fa- far can you guys go? I can, I can go it. with my action 60 feet per round. 60? I can go 120. All right, so oh Eliris peels off, going down 120 feet. You get down that far, and just at the very edge of your dark vision, you can see another door. All the other okay. ones seem to have uh, doors right now that have been, like, caved in, that they're they're not really passages Wait, out. But this Eliris one says dark vision? What? He's, no, he's, he's an F-O. F-O. Oh. oh, sorry. This whole okay. time I thought he was a human. No. Nope. Oops. Um okay, so that's the end of your turn, top of the round. Uh we will do one more for Zef or Hana all at once. And then that's I'm gonna running, be the end. Following where Charnuk went. Alright, so ninety feet. Uh, 5, 10, 15, 20, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60. Give me an intelligence check 60, 70, to know what direction they went. 90. He'll get there if he would gets it be, would it be intelligence? Or survival. Or like survival, survival, track, survival, yeah. survival. Hundred percent survival. <laughs> survival. There you go. That helps. Twenty then. You you can clearly tell as Charnook, as you turn the way, you can see the door just like get pushed off its hinges by Charnook. Like, get out of my way! As he's sprinting through, and you're like, what do you mean? that's the one. <laughs> <laughs> and you're able to catch up with them. And now you're uh, catching up to the group. And uh, Charnook, you notice this individual in a hood for the first time tailing you. Are we in the darkness? Not yet. 
Who are you? Keep moving. I've already used all my movement in this round. (laughs) (laughs) At this point, Tullius has now pulled away, and now Tullius is like, and he's running past as this thing is scratching his face and bursting into the wall. Orhana triggers then your shot. Yeah, so um, I took three shots, one hit. Okay. 29. 29, go ahead. We were friends. Six damage. All right. In his face. In the back of his head. <laughs> okay, <fine>. <laughs> <laughs> so it's still sort of the it's face. His back face. <laughs> so it's, it, it, you see it hit right in and dig in. You see him like as he's scratching his head and just like, just one hand casually takes it out, <laughs> just pushes it off as he's scratching his head. Ah, uh, Tullius, you have now joined the fray of running for your life. Oh. You're in here now at the start of your turn. So it is uh, Tyrion, Charlie, Tullius, Lyris. All you guys can go at once. Um, can you see in the dark? You might want to go before me. <laughs> you can't. Yeah, you're follow, not. Follow me, and I'll just like <laughs> grab his arm and lead him the way. As you do that, you look back. You can see this other hooded figure in front of you that which said, I, "Keep moving." Can I pull her with us? Who? Uh, the, the hooded figure. Can I like reach out and pull her with us? How close? Him? Uh, no, she's pretty far. Never mind. Him. It's a him. Him. Yep. Yeah. It's, it's a him. It's not me. Um, uh, as I reach it, into it, another it, dimension. <laughs> 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 I see Del King pull that one. Anyway, sorry. Um, I wonder what that bird's up to. <laughs> I know. As you, all right, so Yolaris, you're going to be able to make it to the door in time. <laughs> you're at this door. Excellent. All right. Not what the you, door. All right. Open it. Uh, locked. I try to pick it. Okay, go ahead and try. You didn't have to use all your movement to get to this door. Excellent. So you have your action to try and pick okay, it. Okay, okay. Uh, that is 17. All right. Uh, just like the previous door, you know exactly how to do it this time. Huh. Able to open it way easier. You can feel the castle still the same. shaking, and you can feel like dust coming down now. And you like the whole place is just feeling like it could collapse at any moment. Uh, as you oh, open into this door, right torches are on, and you see a bunch of cells inside here. This is where prisoners are held. Cells. Oh shit. Yep. And you can see a couple at the bottom, like completely zoned out, and you can see a couple up top being like, hey! 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 trying to get your attention um but they're pretty high off the ground so that will end your turn everybody else running down you guys are making your way down the stairs that will now get to uh where are we in order top of the round zeph go ahead so you're probably just following did full I have, movement did i get to do something uh yeah i'll go full movement. oh no you need to go too so he's still gonna go full movement so go ahead tell us uh kind of bonus action inspire that dude yeah the golem yeah, absolutely. Oh, dude. Go ahead and sing something. Oh, hey. Mate, I don't know if this will help, but uh, good luck fighting off whatever's you're ailing you. <laughs> he gets a D8. You just see a little bit of an eye look back out to you. A D8? Oh, yeah. You see the D10 with the other camp. Uh, I need one more level. <laughs> and then You'll I'm never going to use my action to <laughs> run away. <laughs> All right. Um, <laughs> All right, so I'll... I'll, I'll Speed and, and another so one. 60. 60. Go ahead and move him 60 as he goes past Orhana. 50, 50, 60. Okay. And then Orhana is going to follow suit with him on her turn. 40, 50, 60. Everyone's dashing, baby. Feet, she dashed. Dash. She's dashing. Because dash, yeah. all she was doing was holding for the arrows. I was only and, asking because she's short. Yeah, yeah. I thought she I had 25. I actually too. have 25, but I so have magic boots. Ah! That That's give me an extra five feet. That's why I was like, huh? I know. As you, outside, as you hear him running while you hear him saying, let me decide for myself. Ooh. Ooh. I tried. <laughs> I yeah. tried. Uh, the dice rolls aren't in his favor right now. Uh, but actually, it's been three turns in a row. Yeah. Yeah, with that then, with that dice roll and the inspiration, you see him... Rah! Ah. Ah. And he's going to run into the castle. No! <laughs> 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. Very split. I don't know 50, what to think. 50, so then, uh, 15, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, and with that, he's going to use... I'm not sure if I like what I did or not. <laughs> I, think, I think you did the right thing. 
I don't know anymore. <laughs> uh, well, th- I no. think it was better. It's better if he's not crazy. I don't think yeah. they're evil. Yeah. Um, as like. As he's in here, though, you see the ceilings are getting really close for him as he's in here. Even though this hall is really tall, but it's also dwarves. Yeah. Um, you can already tell, like, this is our, he can feel claustrophobic as soon as he's in here. That's hilarious. That's going to hit. And then... Is he hunched over? Not yet. Oh. Not yet. <laughs> that will be... That's 12-foot ceilings, man. Mm-hmm. 30, 31, plus 20 necrotic. <laughs> As he goes into the golem, you see the golem's lights mm, and go down. It was already damaged, so he just finished that shit off. You see him? <sighs> Look oh, for the gem! <sighs> and uh, that'll end his turn. Oh, man. So now it is. Rest in peace, golem. You did Orhana's well. turn. Sure. Then Tyrion, then Charnook. I'm going to keep running. All right. Me too. I'm going to say for the sake of brevity of my sanity, Talias and Orhana, you guys are going to get into here, into the dining hall. So move them over, Talias. I'm going to take out and get the next part of the map. Me? Easy. What do you need here? Um, i got to get rid of the map. So I think we're just going to end up moving this guy um, back this way. Oh. The walls are coming down anyway. Be careful, don't you? You gotta be careful of bringing that up because it's heavy. You don't want the XP to come through it. So let's get that out of there and then push that towards me. Like this way? Yeah. Yep. Oh, I killed Tyrion. He's dead. <laughs> oh, that's it for Tyrion. Oh, no. Oh, no. Definitely thought there'd be something better here. <laughs> he was hit with other worldly, worldly force. Um, <laughs> just you out take of 14 D10 <laughs> yeah. damage. Yeah, I don't know what to tell you, dude. Are exactly. dudes in there? Oh, there are dudes in there. That's so cool. Look at them being all in jail and stuff. You guys are here. You guys are rushing into here. Um, and Rohan and Tellius are slacking behind. And you can hear... Yeah, slacking. Uh, <laughs> the other Airy. creature in the hallway. You can hear him like, oh... Nah! As you see him like <laughs> pushing and trying to break open walls, and you can hear this just crunching behind. Uh, his size is hurting him right now, trying can to get he through. Defeat the planet. So, uh, it is you guys as you enter into this room. They're all getting into there first. Yulirus is the first to hit the room inside here. What are you doing, Yulirus? You can see a door at the end of the other side, but there are cages. Uh, I'm gonna dash to the door. All right, push through. You find another door, and it is locked as well. I'm gonna unlock it. All right, go ahead and try. Come on, come on. Natural twenty, easily. Now, there's so many times in a row, you know exactly the uh, tumblers to hit because this is in fact like the same key opens all these doors. That's hilarious. So now you, you got <laughs> a down path. Who is the, the idiot? <laughs> yep. Um, so that pushes through, and you can hear some others like, "No, no, please don't." You can hear another one like, "I told you, no one's gonna save us." As you guys are going through, and you can see some other ones like, Hey! Hey, I'll got you! <laughs> On the bottom. <laughs> yeah, come here! Come here! <laughs> oh, fuck. <laughs> uh, oh, God, shit. So, anyway. Oh, yeah, carry, carriage situation. Um, the rest of you guys, uh, so that would be uh, Zeph, Charnook, uh, Tyrion. You guys enter the room now. Keep room? running. All right, running by, Tyrion. Uh, Charnook, Zeph, what are you doing? Is this room completely dark? No, lights are on. Torches are lit. Lights. Okay. Yep. Uh, yeah, I'll just keep running on. Everyone, pfft, running what, by. What, what kind of people are you? Doing? Uh, you have to make a perception check if you want to try and see. How far behind would that put me? You, yeah, I'll give it on the run. You can just look. Oh, just right. give me a dice roll. Natural one. I don't see shit. Yeah, it's too I'm dark. I'm certainly blind. I'm just yep. following my friend. Well, no, the lighting in here <laughs> is too difficult. Blind. Like the the it's torches on the walls, but not torches inside the cells. Right. So the shadows in there, and they're not leading toward the edges. Some of them are. Even with the one, you probably could have made out some of them. But as you were kind of eyes drifting, and you're like, I don't see much. As one of them was like, Ah! And you're just running. You don't care about that guy. <laughs> um, okay. 
So then that brings us to Tellius and um, Orhana. What, what are you guys doing? Right? Running down the hallway. You can start hearing just the crumbling of stone behind you <laughs> as you see him. Hey, go ahead! And you can hear this. And things are pushing through into this area. Actually, I'll use 30 feet movement. Yeah. And cast. Send it. Okay. Two? That guy. Okay. to get down are you gonna sorry uh, are you gonna be able to traverse uh, this area give me charisma saving throw saving throw strange you die instantly oh, that's not great um 11 you start hearing the voices both male and female inside your head from strange. that strange and uh you take Sixteen points of psychic damage. 16. As these more familiar to you, you can't quite make it out because of the damage, but you feel like you could recognize this language as it just bounces around in your head, and you're like, Gah! as you try and communicate, and you can hear this just a, a, this hint of minds on. Um, as that happens, so you get a little okay. Orana, you you run in. Yeah. All right, I you're catching up. Feet. Okay. You guys can see the wall's been torn off by Chernook pushing bass, and you, you you're getting like little bits of their trail, but you're way behind. Mm -hmm. So you guys are doing your best to catch up. Um. Another time, do you, so you burst through the doors ag uh, again, Ulyris? Yep. You see even more, just going down and down and down. 120 feet. All right. You go down and you make it quite a ways. Um, for the sake of brevity, you guys, uh, give me all uh, constitution saving throws to see oh how boy. your endurance is going through all this. Right, As you tired. all are nonstop sprinting. Oh, no. 16. 25. 25, 16. You have a point of exhaustion. 21. 16. You're fine. You're fine. Four. Oh. oh. <laughs> so you just have one point of exhaustion. Oh, actually, you have not been sprinting. Uh, yeah, you're still gonna have it because you've been sprinting many rounds in a row. Yes, but, I have. So there we go. So all you guys are sprinting down and going through the tunnels, and you finally get past these people that are yelling in the cells for you. All the way at the bottom, uh, you finally get to one massive door, and you can see runes inside this door. Uh, what are you doing? Am I there? All of you are there. You've all because you guys finally got to this door, and he's just like, uh. And he's waiting for everybody to catch up in just a couple seconds. They keep coming, 5, 10, 15 so seconds. And then finally, Tullius and Ohana get here. The whole party's together, alive, somehow. I'll wave, I'll wave my hand, dispel magic. <laughs> Open. I mean, I was going to do that, but it's <laughs> all right. Yeah, I was going to investigate, but that's better. <laughs> As Ulyris looks straight, straight to the, the door. Uh, we, don't, we don't have time. We need to move. Okay. That was clever. As uh, Let's go. Off. He's a clever lad. <laughs> He's a clever lad. Don't forget about it. your boy. It's your boy. Tell you. Tell you. Tell you. Tell you. Supreme. The smelliest. Whoa. Oh. Whoa. What? Oh. It's over now. Ah. <laughs> call me Zach, why are you on the ceiling? Oh my goodness. Spider! <laughs> you okay? Yeah. Yeah. I'm good. Thanks for asking. How are we doing? How does everyone feel currently? Feeling okay. I'm pretty tired. I'm tired of you being tired. How about that? Like like one level exhaustion worth worth of tired. <laughs> I feel that. I'm doing all right. Health wise, I'm decent. 
Oh, I thought you were talking you about yourself in real life. No, so I don't have no. I was like, yeah, I, I kind of have like a level of exhaustion right now, but. <laughs> All right. I'm feeling great, actually. I'm really self-conscious about my chewing. Good. If I if I sit here and chew a chip, can you guys hear it? No. Okay. Chew as loud as you can right now. We can hear that. I heard that. Well, I mean when with you're... your mouth closed. <laughs> oh. I was just following the instructions. <laughs> he did follow the instructions quite closely. That is true. <laughs> Luke used Since that was as loud as, as loud as he could is with your mouth open. Otherwise, because you know sketch, that's really relevant right now. <laughs> Louder and with your mouth more open. <laughs> all right. The group, can you give me all the guys? You can put them all right here. <laughs> As you all in enter inside here, you feel this heat just emanating from here. This massive, think Elder Scrolls, where the Elder Scroll is located type of mechanism. Mm -hmm. That big glass circle, but it's this bright white, and it's has these all these different cables running towards it. And you can see the water in here is keeping this place cool as constant steam is being pushed out from the heat. I need everybody to make a con saving throw. Again? Well, you just entered this area. Yep. Do, uh, do I right. have to make a con saving throw? Yes. Oh. 14? Yep. Nice. Okay. Another 25. You're okay? 21. 16. 16. What'd you get? 20. 21. Yeah, oh. I got you. Got you. Uh, Ryan. 16. Okay, so you're the only one that can pass. Um, you take uh, six points of poison damage. And you are poisoned for the next uh, two hours. Two oh, hours? Geez. Holy First butts. I'm stupid, now I'm poisoned. <laughs> I'll use, Rolls uh, aren't with you tonight. <laughs> uh, I'll use uh, my lay on hands pool to cure, or sorry, to neutralize her poison. Uh, yes. I think you need a greater restoration for what this is. It, it, greater restoration. Oh. Uh, okay. When I become stupid, is yep. there a condition for that? No. You're okay. all right. You just lost your intelligence, so that affects your modifiers, basically. Okay. So whatever your perception modifier is, or what was it, intelligence? intelligence it's zero yeah, now. Is. Okay. Um, That's not going to work? Well, I shouldn't have fucking told you that, but as playing the game... Then I'll just heal her. Yes, so healing her, you go to heal her, you can heal for the points back, but you're still sick. I'll give her five points of healing. Wow, thanks, man. There you go. Man. What time that is it? It's noise. 846. All right. So, as you enter into this area and you see this glowing orb, you can see this big golem. <clears throat> it looks like to be protecting this area. And clearly, this is the center of the power room. So, with that, we're going to take a break. And we'll be back in about 10 minutes. Okay. Cool. Well, we Read it. it. Right. Welcome back. You managed to somehow escape into the castle during all the madness that was going on, entering into the castle and pushing past all those in need, you guys traveled deep into the earth to find the Paragon of Light. Entering this incredible chamber that seems to travel like that picture you guys saw earlier for the thumbnail. That's very much the idea, but a giant orb in the middle of that with all these wires and contraptions coming out of the, the center of this area that has all these boxes that seem to be connected up, and Ulyris, give me an intelligence check. Would that be a disadvantage because of exhaustion? Uh, I don't think so, actually. I don't know how... Oh, on ability checks. Yes, it is. I have it right in front of me. Yep, disadvantage on ability checks. So, yep. I think it matters for this check, guys. Oh. That's ah. unfortunate. What'd you get? Hunter, please. <laughs> well, the second roll is... A seven. Oh, wow. The um, first roll was much better. There's the steam inside here is obscuring your vision, and you can't figure out what, what's in front of you. Damn. It just keeps going up, and like these pulses of what's happening. All you guys can feel this heat radiating in here. Um, Orhana looked like she got injured as soon as she walked into this area, but the rest of you just can feel that heat pushing onto you, and it doesn't feel oh. right. I know, I know. So, 
Uh, what is everybody doing in here? Walking towards the orb. What do we need to do? Okay. Um, Look for a way to get up to the orb. All right. As you walk in, you can now see that massive golem that I described earlier push towards. Um, these are, like, levitating. Okay. These rocks around it where all this covered in water and shifting through the water, you see this massive iron golem coming towards all the... Well, actually, it's less iron, more uh, steel and clockwork, black steel. Does he still have spikes? Yes, he does. He definitely has spikes. So let's go back over here, though, so you guys can actually see the area. Mm. That's what it looks like. Oh, very nice. As you guys come close up to it, you can also hear behind you, like, all those metal stairs. You can see it going... <clears throat> you can hear these awful... That's You know that terrible sound of bending metal when it crunches and all of that? <laughs> you just hear that scraping in you, behind you guys as you all are in here. Uh... Uh, I'm going to spin around and close the door behind us. Uh, how? When you dispelled magic, the thing, or the runes faded, oh. and it's completely open now. Oh, it's it was just it was just a magical barrier blocking it? Yep. Oh, never mind then. Dispel your dispel magic. <laughs> Tyrion looks back at that. <laughs> looks back at the group. Ooh, <laughs> can't fix that door. <laughs> As you hear those um, awful sounds, the entire group like turns around in one of those like super cinematic shots, hearing all that, and looks back to this golem with all the steam coming out of the face of the golem as well. Yeah. I'll take point. I'll watch our backs. Uh, I, I want to run back outside of the room real quick. Okay. Uh, and probably like 30, maybe 40 feet, something like that. And I'll cast alarm across yep. the floor. Sure. So if any of it, anything passes by it, I get notified immediately. Okay. And then I'll go back to the group. You got it. You do that, you can see everything's still intact from the stairs you guys went down here as you set your alarm and come back in. What was is, that? It, um, is it a straight shot to the orb? Yeah. But it's levitated off the ground about 80, 90 feet. All hung up uh, by all these wires as the steam just shh, keeps coming are through. Are there stairs up to it? Like it yep. looks like there's there stairs. are. All right. And there's like a floating huh. rock above. So the, all the water's below, and this is a big circular uh, area that clearly is, as you get closer to it. Uh, How far away are we right now from the 5, orb? 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60 feet from being directly below it. I. Below it, all right. Uh. We we agree this thing is probably inside the orb, right? It might be the orb. Who knows? All right, I'm gonna aim my hand up, mm -hmm. and uh, I'm gonna cast scorching ray at the chains connected to the orb. All right, which one though? There's about six of them connecting to it right now. I'm gonna shoot. I shoot three rays of fire, one per chain. So okay. three chains. Okay, go ahead and make an attack roll against it. Attack roll. Whew. Um, um, 27 to hit. Hits. 27 to hit. Hits. And 19 to hit. Hits. All right. Barrel. So that's 2d6 per. Okay. The first one does 10, or, sorry. The first one does... 14 damage. The group sees Tyrion turn around again <laughs> after you see Zeph put down this magical alarm behind you guys as Tellius have hands on his uh, curved blades, looking up, listening to all the cranking metal and sounds behind you. Um, the golem standing in your way isn't aggressive towards you, and Tyrion shoots his first... Uh, scorching ray as fire comes from Tyrion's hand the first chain snaps you can see the ball the orb in the center seems a little free but as it hits the chain all the way down the wall it goes down towards like what looks to be a power box and that just overloads and explodes outwards and sparks go everywhere um, that gets the attention of a water elemental pierces out of the water flies over and starts putting out the power box that's on fire uh, the second hit is four damage of fire damage. Okay. On the second hit, um, you can tell, you see the chains go hot red, but they don't quite uh, snap. I ignore like the resistance, by the way. 
What's that? I ignore resistance to fire damage if that matters. Doesn't. Um, <laughs> and then the last one is eight damage. All right, that one looks like it's just on its last edge as the scorching ray goes through that one, and they're both hardly hanging on. You can see how bright one's a way hotter, like white orange, than the other one. But those two chains on that third side there is is looking real rough. The chains are looking real rough. I'm thinking, free the Paragon of Light. It must be inside the orb. If we shoot the chains down, the orb drops, breaks, it's free. Sounds, Sounds like a plan to, to me. me. I take out my bow. All right, go ahead and try as you hear more scraping closer now. And as you can start to hear these behind you. While they're doing this, can I can I try to run up to the orb? As far as I can go. All right. Uh, give me a deck saving throw as Elyris jumps over to step onto this floating pad, and the golem rears back its hand and goes to punch Elyris. Can I disengage? Uh, is... Not if you want to get by. It's it's literally like going to try and crush what you're stepping on to get to the next area. Okay. So give me a deck saving throw. Deck saving throw? Yep. All right. That's not bad. Um, dex, 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 dex. Oh, yeah. Um, 19. 19? Nice. As you get there, the whole thing smashes and just by the skin of Eulyris' teeth, slowed oh. down from the pain. It feels like a second, just a second later, and you would have been absolutely crushed. And now looking at it, as you jump over the second ledge to get onto the main platform... You can tell it's about a 40-foot drop into the water down there that seems to be boiling. As you oh, hit onto this platform, you see it turn to you and its face with all the steam coming out. It's all There is no face. It's just this open area with all these spikes. The steam starts pushing out towards you. I need you to make a con-saving throw now that you're inside this area. Awesome. And I believe you have disadvantage. Oh, no, no, you're... You know, Natural you're twenty, not, not on saving throws. Not on saving throws, only ability to get hit. Um, as as you start to feel some some pain uh, in your chest, um, you're able to focus on that elven heritage of yours, and it starts pushing back whatever was uh, pushing at you. And okay. yeah, I was aiming for the two hot chains, and I got a nineteen and a twenty-one. Both hit, and they both do six damage on the ones that were already weakened. <laughs> both come off and as those two come off you see the power boxes and you see the elemental just systematically come over and start trying to put those off as well the in the middle it's slightly ajar now as three of those are gone and as those three fall you see your alarm goes off Zeph and you see behind you that lizard folk has just landed uh, inside this How area fit down here <laughs> those are tight and narrow mm-hmm. have to find out if you want to push past them and go back. Uh, I'm throwing a firebolt at one of those chains. All right. Uh, Tyrion glancing back. Oh, he just <laughs> throws another fireball as he comes down. <laughs> the area around here. <clears throat> Hello there. Is What's the that? area around here, like, well, is there a way, is there a spot that's, like, dark? Basically, um, forward. if you could go down into the area, there's all sorts of like caverns in the earth that really isn't finished down here between the waters, uh, but it's not very dark. There are some passageways uh, floating on these. Uh, there's a bunch of these floating rock mechanisms all the way around. You could try to jump towards one of those and hide in them, but this place is very bright from that orb in there and very very hot. All of you are drenched now that you've been in here for two rounds. Uh, uh, yeah, I'll try to hide in one of those, I guess. Okay. Uh, 5, 10, 15, 20. What's your max? Movement 30. Ooh, you can't... Could, I mean... But I can I can use an action. Shadow running. Yeah, start, okay, so then you gotta jump. give me the the, uh, the strength check for running or whatever it is when you dash. How far can you run? It's a 10 feet jump. You mean jump? I can jump 13 feet. Then good. Then you got it. You're in here, and I'll just put oh, you and there. And the golem falls. falls. Nope, 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 it's fine. It's fine. He goofed us um, And then I'll hide as well. All right, give me a yeah. self check. 100. 42. Uh, 25. Okay. Weak. Good to know. Mm-hmm. Um, well, before all the chains get cut, can I look at this orb and get an idea it's big. as to whether... Think what? Elder Scrolls again. The bottom when you unlock the Elder Scroll, yeah, it's that yeah. huge type of glass thing there. How like 
could I like hold it? If, Absolutely if not. Fell? No. It's, okay. okay. It's like as big as the guy behind you, the lizard. Okay, folk. but uh, also, like, just what does it look like? Does it look like there's something inside it, or is the orb part? It's like, it's very bright. Part? I mean, if you steer it long, you might have some staring into the sun effect. Yeah, yeah, I'm not gonna do that. I, I would not be <laughs> stupid enough to do that. Um, <laughs> I just want to get an idea: is if the glass breaks, would whatever it's would that hurt what's inside of it? You can make a perception check with disadvantage into the light. Okay. If you really want to look at that. Yeah, w and that wouldn't hurt myself with staring in the sun. I no, because you have disadvantage because you're definitely gonna be like. Oof. Yeah, yeah, okay, okay. You're like taking your cool cape out and trying to look through that yeah, and whatever, okay. anything. Actually, I get advantage on perception checks. I'm glad you do that. I think you did. Awful. Wow. But go ahead, then. You monster. Yeah, uh... You yeah, well, the ring you gave me, I have advantage on perception checks and rolls for initiative. That's hilarious. Nice. Why from the ring you gave me. So, <laughs> he spent all uh, his money. No, I'm just kidding. So I, I rolled a natural 16, and perception is plus 11, so that would be a 27. Um, Looking through, it just seems like it's gas inside there, from best you can tell. Okay. Well, they said free it, so... <laughs> okay. <laughs> free it. Is that all you're doing with your turn? Um... Oh, yeah. Would you say your Iris is here? As he's come over here, you see three power boxes on fire, three over there. Um, it's getting really tough. Like if you, you, you're feeling like a force pushing back on you as you're in here, and the heat is getting excruciating. Give me a Constitution yep. saving throw, separately from it's. These are different things affecting you. Yep, yep, yep. Just so you know, I rolled a sixteen for my fireball. Oh, that breaks. No, no, it's a hit. Oh, that hit. Oh, no, that doesn't hit. Sixteen does not hit. I'm sorry. Does not hit. Does not hit. <laughs> they're really high up, and they're so small. With the 16, it's very difficult for you to get the, a clear shot at it. Like that. One's a natural. That's a 20. 17 constitution. 17 constitution. Um, yeah, okay. You you feel like another point of exhaustion, like exhaustion coming over you, but you're able to just steady yourself. Oh, okay. You're like, We're good. this is important. I have to stay focused. Right. Okay. Loose two more arrows and one goes wide and the other is right on target. Okay. So that's ten damage. Ten damage, just barely. Kink freeze. There's one chain left as the lizard folk enters the room, and you can see other lizard folks <laughs> falling down and getting back up from the top, just like uh, similar to uh, what you experienced with Orlith, similar to Game of Thrones, Jon Snow, when they just fall off the cliff at hard home and they're coming down and then getting back up uh, that's happening behind you as he enters inside the room uh, he is going to so where are all you guys here relative I've pushed forward a little yeah, we're all pushed forward <coughs> okay and Zeph is hiding there Charnook has been shooting at that Telegus. I'll probably be up oh, near Charnook as well, like a forward yeah. and off to the side a bit. Alright. Yeah, because they're both working over here. And he enters into here. <laughs> Move aside, old one. Uh, Alright. Nope. Uh, just <laughs> freeing that thing up there. Alright. He pushes past you. You take a tactic of opportunity on him, uh, Tyrion. Um, I mean, I could punch him if I wanted to. <laughs> <laughs> I don't have a melee weapon. <laughs> as, as Tyrion is shooting these off, he just turns as you see that giant, thirteen foot lizard folk monstrosity coming by you, and you can see the golem just shooting steam towards you, Iris, right now, who's like, nah trying to shield himself in his coat and it's starting to pick up uh attack on titan style it's about to get real bad uh nope i'm just gonna keep throwing <laughs> fireballs at those chains <laughs> nope. all right he's gonna make a jump so let's uh see if he makes his deck save oh he's gonna get it he's got it he's, he's fine he's fine 20 he's fine B -B -E -G -D. as it misses you see him uh come back over here and with the 
massive golem. He is going to take his attacks against it. This will only slow things down. Um, oh shit, miss. <laughs> How embarrassing. 30, 20, two miss. Those two hit. Miss. Of course he rolls shit against this. <laughs> <laughs> he, he's like hitting 12 after 12 with you fucking guys. Me a shield while we play this <laughs> thing, hopefully. Right, right, right. 51 points of... No. 41 points of damage to that. I think he might be uh, trying to take it. Whatever, dude. <laughs> I'm not fucking with it. <laughs> what do you mean, whatever? We're free. Uh, it'll, it'll be free. It'll be free. Mm, not really. Maybe if we could steal it. From do you have a better idea? <laughs> Might get it free before he gets there. I'm not doing shit. <laughs> you know now. Yeah, if you think we're squaring down with this guy. <laughs> no. That's, no, that's we just need this. I'm hoping if once it's set free, it will just fly away. Hopefully, well, we'll, we'll find out. Filled with gas, so we'll find out. Punch your fucking out. meta gamers while your DM's trying to kill something. We're talking about things we already know. Uh, that hits. And the Gross, other one doesn't. Meta gamers. Those dirty meta gamers <laughs> playing the game. <laughs> Gross. Twelve, and then twenty-two. So that puts it down to that. You see the blades come out. God pulls it away from what it was doing with you, Lyris. And you see as the face comes up and starts trying to put steam, he turns around and, and rips out a part of it. And um, as that comes off, like an entire plate gets ripped off it with its teeth. Uh, it tries to claw at it, and it's just not finding area with its claw attacks. But it does a fair amount of damage. You can tell the things like... Uh, if it had feelings, it would not like this. Okay, so that's that, that's that. That's that. And then he is going to... He has that. Then he's going to take... And just throw these balls inside the smoke. So that would be... Damage. So while this is happening... Whoa! Two tens! Stuff, I think. 20, 22. 22. You hit it. Nah. Uh, what hand. did you do? I shot two more arrows that went wide. Alright. Charnook oh, no. just shooting what at it as he's. Someone else who could shoot arrows! You can see the water. The, the crossbow to shoot. You can, as the water elemental turns around and notices all everything you guys are doing and sees you, Lyris. Um, I'm gonna. Roll its initiative. You all are on the same initiative. All right, I'm just gonna start rolling to hit. Yep. Go ahead. So, uh, uh, Orhana, Tyrion, Jarnuk, Tellus. So, Orhana, first. What are you doing? As uh, Ulyris first, though, and then it'll come to you. Okay. As we're going so back into combat order. So, 16 to hit. Does not hit. Goes wide with your crossbow. You're so nervous as the water elemental. Shh. Shifts up close to you. As you can see, it's barely hanging on right now, the orb in the sky. Uh, Orhana, your turn. Um, so I shoot one, and it misses, and I shoot another, and I get a 29 to hit. Absolutely hits. <laughs> Orhana, seeing all of you guys missing and firebolts going wide, arrows going, she leans back, pulls that, draws the string all the way back to her face, gives it a little turn, and releases. It's 10 points of damage. Exactly enough. As the arrow hits and shatters the chain, it swings free. The orb, suspend it in the air, doesn't fall. And you see it slowly come down, and it gets extremely bright. And all of you make a... Uh, uh, buh, 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 buh. Con save? Okay, yeah, I think it's a con save. 21. 21? Okay. 14. 14? 14? 20, 20, mm. You're not having a good night. Nope. 10. Ten. Am I obscured from it at all? Or? Yes, you are actually. So you're actually golden. You don't have to make it. Yeah. 
Eight. Eight. Mm. Everyone who rolled below 15, you are temporarily blinded as it gets so bright. Oh you guys are blinded for the next turn. Stare into the sun. <laughs> Um, Stupid, I blinded, poison. <laughs> 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 yeah. I'm the seventh grade Oof. <laughs> Not dead. Not dead yet. Um, You're not, not paralyzed. Dead. As that happens... Poisons. Poison. I guess I was paralyzed before and just never unchecked it. Huh. Uh, I remember when, but at some point. Yeah, remember like when? Do you remember? As it falls... Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> yep. In September. Put in around. September. <laughs> my birthday's in about four days. Yeah. Ooh. It's right around the corner. I'll be 24 that night. Wow. Big time. So exciting. We gotta go out to dinner. You know, it was Austin's birthday today. Okay. Wow. Yeah. So I misplaced it, but that's fine. Um, as, as the orb shatters open, the entire place just erupts with this uh, heat. And all the water starts to evaporate, and these beautiful angel wings come open inside here. Um, about equal size of uh, the lizard folk in here. You see them turn and look towards this thing. It is completely green-skinned, solid all the way around, bald on its head, and you can see all these like little Saturn rings all along its arms and on its legs as it flies in front of all of you. What the um, shit? As you see, it looked to the sky. It turns. And you who aren't... Actually, if you're blinded, give me perception checks during all this. And con saves for everybody else. <laughs> I take a con save. Yes. Okay. Okay. 28 perception. Okay. Ooh, I made a 20. with a perception. 24. Okay, this is con save. The perception? Is First is perception. Oh. So sorry. All perception first, so you hear it, you hear well, it, you hear it. What'd you get? If it's, uh, I wasn't blinded. What? So my, my con is 20. Yeah. Oh, but no, no, I we're doing perception first. Yeah. Okay, yeah, I wasn't blinded, though, so... Yep. It doesn't matter if you're blinded, you can hear. Well, 26. Okay, <laughs> yep, yep. 21 perception. Yep. I assume I just can't see it. Yeah, yeah, but no, no, but we're perception yeah, no. hearing. We're hearing. Okay. Okay. All right. This is you're just trying to hear if you hear what this thing says. Okay, okay. that's okay. what you, we're at. You were, okay. you and then we're going okay. to the comment. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, okay. Because so it happened. It happened. So I got an okay. eighteen. Okay, everyone can hear this booming, uh, uh, angelic voice uh, come over. <sighs> My mission resumes to the Paragon of Light. And as it moves, you see the wall just start to evaporate as it starts moving out of this chamber and uh, going towards whatever that means. You're welcome. <laughs> um, <laughs> right? <laughs> Can I... Con saves. Wait. Uh, 19. 19? You okay? 24. You okay? You okay? the blinding one or the... Nope, this is different. You take three points of poison damage, Fourteen. and you're poisoned for the next two hours. Oh, rude! Um, you take three points of poison damage, and you're poisoned for the next four hours. Now it's adding on to the other two you took already. So there's been like three <laughs> saves in a row. Just Somehow failed. Somehow I've gotten fourteen on like all three. Oh. Of yep, and the DC's fifteen. Minutes. Yep. Exactly. I don't. I don't even That's know. Awful. Seven. Uh, you were poisoned. Three points of damage. Uh, give me an intelligence. Uh, check to see if you, or medicine check to see if you notice what kind of damage this is to you. Okay. Uh, six. Six. You're poisoned as well. You take three points of poison damage. You all are poisoned for the next two hours who failed. Uh, Fifteen medicine. Uh, you have experienced this before. It made you deathly sick on your adventures when you delved deep into the earth and it took, uh, greater restoration spells to cure you of your ailment and it seems so powerful in here you surmise that this has probably been affecting some of the things up top as well wherever this is located directly below crap so cool it's like radiation so yeah here we are uh as that comes out and pit and starts pushing through the walls into another area you can see the giant lizard just staring at it. And he's going to take one of his legendary actions. 
<laughs> Is he going to try and fight this thing? And he's going to attack the... Actually, he's going <sighs> to... Into the golem. And this breath comes out. And that is going to be a save for the golem. Fails. Dexterity save. Yeah, good luck, golem. So that's mm. going to be... Mm. 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 Could you describe what is happening right now? It's sure. DM. Thank you. Uh, six. Uh, six. Just let me count these first. Twelve. Twenty. So you see it... You see him real rear back again after he threw those balls in there, and you just see him in this black and uh, uh, black and violet like like that madness you saw earlier in his hands just erupts into this almost like a fire breath, just burning into this thing coming in and out, and you see it starts to light up, and like the fires are coming out of the golem as it starts to uh, its me- mechanisms melt and break down. Uh, and that will end his legendary action. Uh, so now it is... Uh, where are we in the order here? I think Zeph's turn. Uh, I'm just going to stay where I am. Uh, I'll hold an attack if something if something starts happening. Okay. Like, if, if my allies start getting into combat. Okay. I don't even know your name. So to speak, allies. Yeah, yep. Yeah. We'll okay. <laughs> um, that brings it back to his turn. He recovers his legendary actions. And now he's going to be like, enough with the distractions. And it's going to go and try and finish this thing off. With its attacks. What thing? Do what you the want. golem? The yeah, golem. the thing. Yes, the golem. Okay. All those hit. It's probably dead, huh? We'll see. Oh, there's some of the higher rolls. 24, 54. The first slash comes out with this blade, and you can just see parts going everywhere across. You see the thing breaking down in front of all of you. This monstrous golem. I know I, I gotta roll the damage. I got those. That's fine. Uh, yeah, and then that's gonna do it. Uh, and then the second sword comes out, and you just see him just cut through the center of it. Not all the way down, but just like probably like six feet it can't go all the way down because of how large it is but it's enough to just see the whole thing just like it cracks in half and just falls onto now completely evaporated ground uh, as he pushes it to the side you see him turn to the group and as that thing's floating away he sees Ulyris in front of him the gemstone I won't ask again as you, Lyris, you turn around and see this massive, those glowing purple eyes, this brilliant green scales all over him. He looks like he hasn't taken any damage to this point now that you see him for whatever happened earlier. And he's just staring down at you. And that will end his turn. Or Hana, your turn. Alrighty. Uh, I'm going to try and uh, the green one. So this one's now on the ground. Blah. And Ulyris is actually looking down on him, even though the game shows differently. Or Ulyris is looking up at him. He's looking down at Ulyris, because he's so tall. And the... Uh, we'll just use uh, this for now. He's bamfing out this way. Okay. Yeah. I... I think I'm gonna try to shoot Ulyris with some healing. Try. Okay. He's got a high AC. Give me a deck save, Ulyris, too. You can yell out to him. Uh, 27. Well, that hits him. Fuck yeah. Yeah, yeah, that hits. hits. Ha <laughs> <laughs> You see Ulyris looking at this creature over and you see this. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> so go ahead and roll a d4. Or me, or me, me or her. It doesn't matter. You can do it. All right, I'll Whoever wants to feel empowered. Three. <laughs> cool. Nice. You go for three points. How many of those arrows do you have left? Uh, let's see. I've used two today. Yep. You've used so three. So I think... Yeah, actually, I have. I've used three. Uh, I think I had ten when we started. Okay. So you... 
I'm not sure about if I use it in the Orlith fight. Five, I think. I know you used yeah. one earlier, too. I remember you've used this before, so I'm yeah. going to say five. you have about five left. Okay. You have five left. That's fine. Okay. All right. Cool. Does that end your turn? Uh, yeah, I think it does for now. All right. Tyrion, what are you doing? Ooh. Oh, uh, uh. <laughs> Is there any way I can get, like, can I get across the, the pit to, and, like, run towards the angel thingy, b -d -b Bob? Yeah, you don't even have to go Bob toward Bob. where Eliris is now. Actually, where Zeph is can lead you over to the area that he's now, like, carving a wall through. There's a or an entrance. I'm just going to run towards him. All right, you're going to have to make jumps for it, though. So there's a 10-foot jump and then a 5-foot jump. So you can probably make the 5-foot, but give me an uh, acrobatics I or athletics check. I can jump up to 10 feet if I've got a head start. Okay. A you 10 can, foot head start. You can absolutely do that, but I want to make sure your landing's fine because you're jumping down. So you don't slide yep. or anything with the steam and the whole place. You said, oh, and do you have... Who has poison? Remember, you have disability on your checks. I you am poison. not poison. Okay. What is I poison think me do? and them are the only ones that weren't poisoned. Yeah. Poison... What a dis disadvantage on Disadvantage on attack checks. rolls and ability checks. Yeah. Which, if you're exhausted, it's <laughs> just yeah, doubling cool. up. I, I rolled a four, a 13, and I have no modifier. Okay, 13's good enough, though. Um, so you, you're, you step back, you look at Charnook, and you're like, at shoulders, and you jump. <laughs> and you see Zeph in there just, like, hiding in here, and you see... <laughs> Zeph's like... <laughs> <laughs> and you, like, step over him and rush by. Um, how, how, what's your distance? How much can you move? Uh, I can... I'm going to use my action to dash, so 60 feet. You turn the corner, you're able just to see this thing just, it's like, it's bright white, and it looks like matter itself is just disappearing in front of it as it's clearing the way through and just exiting this area. Are you the Paragon of Light? And that's my turn. Okay. <laughs> uh, it is now Charnuk and Tellius' turn. I'll follow my tiefling friend. All right, make an athletics check. I have strength of 18, so I can jump 18 feet. You just want to make sure you land properly. Some my movement to back up and... Uh, what was that, athletics? You're poisoned with disadvantage. Okay. Uh, it's still okay. I've got a 17 there. 17? Absolutely. Even though the poison, uh, mid-jump, you're like... <laughs> you're like, your ancestors are like, push that shit down. You're like, push that shit down. <laughs> <laughs> and you're able to stick the landing just fine. 18 feet. Keep going. And Zeph again is like, oh, you almost stepped on me, you crazy ass oh, minotaur. Oh, you're so well hidden, I didn't even see you. <laughs> yep. is, it dark? is it dark in there where I am? Yes, yes. Or is it, like, you would have to use dark vision to see? Yes. Alright, I'm invisible. Okay, there you go. Cool. <laughs> hey, hey, hey. You're, you're, only, you're only feeling a force of somebody in here. You know he jumped in there, but you're like, oh, what the fuck? Anyway. Well, what the fuck? <laughs> so as you turn the corner, you see Tyrion and hear him saying, are you the Paragon of Light, as the thing still just pushing through solid matter. I think we should give it a wide berth. Okay. Uh, tell us your turn. Then you, Lyris. Um. <laughs> Gotta make an athletic tracker max check to oh, jump because those are floating. They're okay. floating. So one of those like, Ugh. Athletics. Yep. And, and 18. You're fine. Nice. Oh, are you poisoned? No, you're not. I don't have anything. Look at this guy. Man, it's oh, you know what? I could stop so asking. So many checks. <laughs> I could stop asking and just put these on you. That's why I bought them. <laughs> there you go. Uh, she wasn't. Or he wasn't. I don't know why I yes, keep he thinking. Was he? Yes, he was. I know Zeph got poisoned to go to six. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. not you got poison. Eating a yeah, Oh, I'm dead. Uh, oh. Good help. <laughs> I could, but this is fun. Good enough. Don't forget the blindness. I'm mega poisoned. Yes, oh, I'm but it's blind. it's wearing right off the end of this round, so um, I'm okay. not gonna worry about yeah. it. Is it? Yes, uh, the blindness. It's been enough time. Oh. Because I said two rounds of play, it's been twelve seconds. Hello there. Okay. This is that big dude. He's not paying attention to you at this point. He's engaged with Eoiris, asking for the gemstone, with his hand extended once again. Like <laughs> earlier. It's your choice, Eoiris. 
my turn now? It is actually Ulyris' turn. Right. It worked out perfectly. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm holding on to this for a friend. Oof. And then I'll disengage and try to <laughs> follow the paragon of light. Give me a uh, intelligence saving throw. Oh, man. Um, no one's learning. 19. No, you fail. As all as you tr disengage, you feel this. <laughs> Once again, you see the scan. You're like, I know this trick. And as you go and move, you move right <clears throat> as hands claps around you, and you see um you're now grappled. All right. It's actually the water elemental's turn. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh, wait. <laughs> wouldn't wouldn't he still? Did you do you still have an action? Oh, he does. He only tried to disengage, so. Yeah, can I use an action to try to get out of it? His, Good uh, luck. Grapple. Yes, you can. You it's, can use your your acrobatics. <laughs> is it gonna be acrobatics against his strength? Yeah, against his so athletic. athletics. He's athletics. So strong, he's dexterous and constituted, and, and also wise, intelligent, and wise, and, and charismatic. charismatic. Man, he's got it all. He's My acrobatics is not high. Funny. Well, he didn't roll well. I didn't roll well he either. Got a Thirty. <laughs> oh my god, Eight. Uh, 18. <laughs> oh, he says 18 is not good. Oh, he didn't roll well. He didn't, though. He rolled a two and a three. That's oh. bullshit. <laughs> All right, as you try and get out, um, you try and flip out, Ulyris is able to do the backflip, but you see him catch you again. He's like, no, the gem. And, uh, okay, Water Elemental's turn. Do it, Water Elemental. Whelm it. him. Whelm him super good. <laughs> 25. You just hear this... <laughs> next to you, this rush of water. Uh, ba -ba -ba -ba. It is going to... Use its multi-attacks. It's going to make two slam attacks. Slam, slam. Oh, it can whelm, so that's what you're talking about. Mm. <laughs> uh, that'd be a waste of this move. So we're going to do this. Slam, slam. Uh, ooh! Ooh! Kills you, Lars. <laughs> wow. Both 16s, plus 7 to hit, both just hit his armor class at 23. Wow. <laughs> wow. Wow. He's water like elemental that. OP. Uh, mm, 13. 13. Uh, 19. 22 points of bludgeoning damage. That. As you see, this thing shoot these um, water jets at it, base slam, hitting it with the, the crashing of waves of what its very essence is. Uh, it doesn't seem to have as much effect as you normally think it would, uh, wow. Ulyris. Of course. But as it hits into him, you do see it cut through and do some damage. Ah, some. Mm. Mm. My, some. Man, my man Thanos out here. <laughs> you wish it was Thanos. <laughs> <laughs> At least you had a one chance with Thanos. <laughs> <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Okay, so that's that. Uh, so sh showers him. Uh, it is now Zeph's turn. Top of the order. You are no longer blind. Uh, yeah, I'm just gonna move towards the angel thing. Okay. I suppose. You uh, stealthily. Okay, give me a stealth check. Even though as you get closer to it, it gets very bright. 30 will get you right with the group. 30 feet. Uh, it's 22 on stealth. Okay. So you're very quiet, but it's... And you're, like, going from rock to rock very cautiously. But it is also an open area, so... And it's right. a mixed bag with that 22, but you'll see how that goes. All right. And you can see it in front of you, and it's, it's getting really far ahead of you guys. It's moving very fast. So... Okay. What time is it? Uh, oh, no. nice! It's all, we got time. Anyway, sorry. <laughs> That's it. That's okay. It. Good um, his turn. 
He's going to try and take the stone from you, uh, Uiris. Is it in your stomach? Um, <laughs> he's going to have to make an investigation check. Mm. I don't believe he has any modifiers for that. Well, <laughs> Just his, his intelligence. intelligence is plus... I'm Whatever. assuming it's at least 20. Uh, 18. Give me a deception check, Uiris. I was going to say, if I got... The, I don't think my deception's are. With disadvantage, though, because you're grappled. Right. And, well, and you're poisoned. And exhausted. And, and exhausted. Poisoned, <laughs> and Quadruple everything. disadvantage. Yes, better. Uh, 12. 12? Nope. So he's pushing through, and you can... He finds through your pouches, and you feel this... You can hear, like, the clinking of his uh, claws. And picks out the gem. And you see him... He looks back up to you. This is half the stone. Where's the rest of the gem? He's going to make an intimidation check against you. Uh, so give me a charisma saving throw. Okay. Charisma? Yep. Uh, 12. Fail. Um, you are uh, partially frightened by him. So, you are frightened, is what I'm saying. But, uh, you have this, like, will about you that you're not frightened in the sense of, I'm so scared I'm going to piss myself. You're scared of what he might do to you uh, if you don't tell him. You understand your life will end if you don't tell him. And mm -hmm. you feel compelled to tell him where the other half of the stone is. Do we know? I don't know where the half of the stone is. <laughs> yes, you do. <laughs> Yes, you do. It's been a while. The it's whole group still knows. The other Titan Forge. Yeah. What? It's still in the other Titan Forge, right? No. Is no. it with the lich? Oh yeah. Yes. Bingo. Oh bingo, well, bingo. at least if he goes. Oh, that's in Waterdeep, though. Hmm. Can't we not talk about the lich, though? Aren't we not able to? But there's a spell on us that we can't talk about the lich. Yeah. Yeah. Can't specifically talk about the lich. He asked yeah. you. Where is the other half of the stone? Yeah. So be creative. Wait, it was with the lich? Yeah. 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 He gave us the I don't remember S. this. Oh. Uliris does. <laughs> Uliris does Wait, I thought we got it in the Titan Forge. No, we got something different. But we we didn't give it to him. He gave you half. Yeah. He gave Shalmir half. And then he was like, oh, come, come back. back. It'll give I like how defensive half. Ryan's getting. He's like, no. No, I thought we made that at the forge. No. You yeah, refined it. Was in, it. it was, refined it. Yeah, okay. it was in like a thing, right. and yeah. then he showed us he had another one. Yeah, it was like. Chalmy would know instantly. <laughs> yeah, it was, it was like an ore, so and then we refined Just it. Just half. At the forge. I could have sworn we made that at the forge. Yeah, we no. did. We did. We, you did. We, we refined but, the but ore. But you said we got it from the lich. Do you remember no, we, what the we got it originally, the and then refined it at the forge? Yes. Yeah. What the fuck is D and D? This shit is bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> it's complicated. <laughs> If you look back in the episode, while you were getting your all cool stuff, and you're like, oh boy, orbs and chainmail, Shalmir had the mountain god sing to him, and he found half of it, and then the other guy showed him, it's just stone, like, I told him it was like a uh, ore, and then you guys went, traveled all the way up to the Titan Forge, Titan Forge it up, Trinu died, and then you guys made I half the stone. Only. Same. I remember all of this. Mm. Thank God. No, I, <laughs> I was getting... It all happened. <laughs> All right, so get creative. You have to respond because you fucked up your saving throw. Okay. Yes, you did. <laughs> you did. You I had control not. over that. <laughs> I did not have to um. Uh. Uh. Hang on. Yes. Because because that's not a refined stone. Could I play on the fact that there is not another half of the refined stone? No, because Eulyrus knows it's the other half of the stone. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> uh, this one's refined and that one's not. So True, not but you, you, Eulyrus absolutely knows how puzzles work. And he's like, okay. one half, two half, get that, it's going to make one stone. He's definitely talking about that. Okay. Um... As Eulyrus' eyes are just panicking, he's just staring at him. For this extremely long, you see Tully's like, 
You think he would have done something by now since he's not responding? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm like, Jesus. Water deep. Other half is water deep. Okay, then it's your turn. Uh, or was that his turn? That was his turn. Oh, no, then he has more. So cool. And then he slits his throat now. Um, he has more. Even though he's already imposed like three checks. Thank you for cooperating. And with that, he's going to toss you aside. So Rude. I need you to make a deck saving throw. Nineteen. Take half of sixteen points of bludging damages as he toss you off the side. As Tellius is watching this and just sees. Eulirus get tossed off the ledge and fall down to where the boiling water was and falls onto the battle golem Did, body. Is is he? Could you? Would it, would Tyrion have been able to notice this? You guys are like, you. If he turned or stopped looking at the angel-like feature in front of you, turned and watched what was going on here, but you're not. You weren't currently facing would that I be direction. Able to catch him? What's that? Which direction did he throw him? To the golem. Would I be able to catch him? You can try. No. It's far away, like you. It's like a 10, 20 feet away from you type of throw. You could like get down, Mr. President. So I don't. I don't. I'm. What are you trying to do? Like catch him throughout the air? Are you trying to magic him towards you? Well, I don't know what you're capable. Catch him in the air. Is the only thing I can All right, do. you're gonna try and jump some through. Sort of like he's falling. I'm like shit. Like jump. Sure. Catch land somewhere. Try. Give me uh, a uh, acrobatics check. Okay. This is definitely acrobatics and strength. You have the, the storm time. Natural twenty. I kid you not. You uh, don't take the damage. Uh, Tullius, you take... Uh, it would be even half of that, so you take nine halved damage. Nine so, like bludgeoning? Uh, yes, because you fall down, <laughs> catching Eulirus, so you can t- take all that damage back off. Yep, I did. Cool. As Eulirus... <gasps> you can feel like the wind was knocked out of you as he threw you away. Um, with this stone, the creature, you see it, put put like shove it into his hand and you can see it you yeah, actually can't see shit so you nope. see it it goes into his hand that's all you get to make out okay it goes into his hand alright as that happens you guys are both down there um it ignores the water elemental and it is going to um uh, start to brush past and as he's on his way towards all the friends he sees Tullius jump and catch it you see him he looks over to the side to you me? yeah as he looks down at you do you have another stone on you? me? Do I? No. Okay. I'm just <laughs> <laughs> Do I? As he looks, as he looks at you for a second, he's like, "You touch the sun gem." Oh, it's gonna end his turn. What the fuck? Oh, he's gonna steal our shit. Um, well, it the is the sun gem is with Ulazol on another yeah. continent. Oh no, crap! You're right. Continent. Never mind. You're not on the same continent. Wait, when did? Uh-huh. Okay. Oh, you are on the same day, actually. Currently, oh, right now, right. Uh, they are in Clovis. Running from oh, yeah. Clovis, actually. Yeah, yeah. Actually, they're out of Clovis, because right. you guys did it so quick. So, yeah. They're right now running towards Young Gook. Good times. Or Hana. <laughs> it's finally your turn. <laughs> <laughs> Where are you? So oh, you're still right. way over there. She's, she's like over there. Right yep, here. yep, you can move both of them. And he's right towards the side of the ledge there. No, no, no. Mm-hmm. Like, yeah, it's just, yes. So what are you trying to do? You saw all your friends go out that way, and then you saw Tullius jump off and catch Eulirus as this creature's now turned to look at both of them. He's turned all right. Hmm? Wait, did did Tullius catch me and then fall? Yes. Okay. But he caught you, like, superhero style. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm heroic like that. Mm -hmm. Mm-hmm. I'm I'm going to look into his eyes. My... (laughs) His no. <laughs> scaly bronze copper skin. <laughs> Anything for you, lad. Uh, what are you doing? Um, I'm 
trying to formulate an escape plan right now. Okay. So. There's a big hole in the wall over here. Yep, there's that wall behind you. There's a bunch of lizard folk, maddened ones that are slowly getting up and all the stairs just keep like crumbling on them. So they're like, ah! <laughs> as they keep trying to get up. Otherwise, they would have already engaged in this. Uh, inside here, it looks like the entire power stations are all on fire and uh, not of use anymore. And there doesn't seem to be any other exits besides the one your friends have left through. Then, yeah, we'll just head that way. I think it's going to be easier than trying to go back the way we came. Okay. So that's 5, 10, 15, and then she's got to jump. So that'll be the rest of her movement just to get there, and then she can dash if she wants to keep going. Yeah, sure, might as well. 5, 10, 15. Won't get her that far, dude. She's 25 feet of movement. So just get her to the edge there. As the other ones, as you come up to uh, Tyrion, Charnook, and Tullius' turn, Tyrion, Charnook, the thing is way down, and you can actually see toward the edge of your vision, it's opened up into a bigger chamber as he's now gotten into another chamber. Uh, it's safe to follow? Yeah, just run after him. All right. Both you guys run after him down the hallway. Tellius, what are you doing? <coughs> oh, sorry, I was choked. It's fine. Don't choke. Uh, um, I, I... I can't make sense of what you're saying. I don't... I... You can make a history check. Okay. Natural one. Natural one. Yep. You're panicked right now that he's yeah. now put his focus back on you and you don't know if he's friend or foe and he keeps twisting and turning. Your allies I, have been damaged by him. Uh, it's not... That's it's, right. it's all over the place. Um, I... I really don't know anything about a sun gem. How do you... How would you even know if I interacted with it? What's up with these... I... I, I need more answers. I, I don't know what you're saying. You keep calling me old one. Like, I... I don't know. I can sense its mark on you now. You touched it. As your, like, your palms are now up towards him, and you can't see anything, but you see his eyes glowing, and... That's all you're gonna get. That's fine. Anything else for your turn? Are you gonna move? Are you gonna run? Are you just talking to him? I guess I'll just try to put Elias on my back and climb up this thing, or is it just levitating? Oh, no, you're on the you're ground on the floor ball. now, so you're 40 feet down, where all this water basin used to be. I guess I'll just chill. Okay. That'll end Talia's turn. You, Lyris, it's your turn. Um... Can I see a way up out of the... Yep, there's there's plenty of, like, cavernous walls. Completely unfinished, you could run up. Or not run up. <laughs> climb up. Mm-hmm. Okay. Um, okay. Can I go over to the, the wall in the direction that the angel being went? Yep. And then climb up that wall. Sure. Uh, give me an uh, acrobatics or check or athletics to try and climb up the wall. You have disadvantage because of the poison. Yes, I do. Oh, natural one. Natural one. As you start to climb up, <laughs> you fall to the ground. Uh, the the heat burns your hand still as this whole place still has this radiant energy about it. Uh, with that, the water element is turned. It's going to like it's pro it's fighting its programming it turns back and it's still trying to put fire out it turns away from the conflict and now that the whatever was in the orb has left it's just trying to put out fires that'll end its turn top of the order is uh zeph are you, are you running down with everybody else uh i'll pull out a rope and throw it down to ulyris okie dokie <sighs> to the ground it goes and i'll hold on to it at the end all right or tie it off on a rock or something if i can probably no rocks there, so I'll probably just hold it. Sure. <laughs> um, Alright, that brings up his turn. Kill me. Whose turn? My guy. That guy. Okay, that's what I, that's what I thought. Enough. <laughs> I like you, old one. What is your name? Talius. Talius. Yours. 
Ragnorum. Uh, your hand is stained. That was ours. What do you mean? The sun gem. I am uncertain if you are friend or foe now. Why would you have touched it? I don't even know what that is. What would I know, though? Um, fucking one, man. Um... Did he touch it during the Orlith fight? Is that yes. What is that what you're That's to? exactly what I'm referring to, but I'm trying I to see if Tellius can remember it. Yeah. Uh-oh. He absolutely touched it, remember? He tried to take reason. it out of her. Yep. Ah. Give me another uh, history check. He's giving me another chance at this. Nine. Nine? Uh, I'm saying it's a low DC because that's a hard thing to forget. Oh, yes, <laughs> it's pretty, pretty hard. <laughs> pretty interesting. Your whole mind got blasted <laughs> a little while ago, not even a day and a half ago. So, I mean, if you, you forget, forget that, that other besides a natural one, it's dumb. pretty fucking hard to forget. <laughs> but, you know, <laughs> dice rolls, D&D. Dice rolls. Okay. <laughs> Alright. Um, being we were fighting, the one that gave me my memory, the big one, um, she had a, some sort of, was, was it like a helm, right? Yep. She had a helm, and uh, I think what you're talking about was inside the helm. And as we were fighting her, she was using it against us. And so, once we bested her, I, uh, I went to take it out of the helm. So, I think that's what you're talking about. What did this creature look like? He's burning actions, by the way, every time he does this shit. I'm keeping track. Oh, I'm fine. <laughs> I'm fine. <laughs> you are lucky, man. You guys went with the talking tonight. Because <laughs> he has so much, and you guys are just distracting the fuck out of him. That's great. Um... <laughs> You can just see at, when you mention the name, his hands just clench with anger. Hey, I hate her too. <laughs> yeah. Don't kill me, please. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Total bitch. <laughs> what happened to this gem? What happened to the gem? Is it still with her? No. No. We sleep there. You seem relax a little. As you guys are pushing down towards that other path, um, Elyris, go ahead and give me uh, another check to try and get up there with Zeph. With the rope, you have advanced. You're just straight roll now. 20. Oh, you're Natural good. 20 on the first roll. <laughs> you're Let's good go, now. Dude. You're able to get up there as you see Tullius engaging with it, distracting this thing once again. You guys can see end, and you see this wide open cavern that leads to nowhere. Absolute nothingness as Charnook, Tyrion, and who else is down there with them? Uh, Zeph. No, no, he's back. He stayed back with you. Oh, he's helping you. So, or so, no. so you three are the first to get to this endless like ravine. It's like you found the Minecraft thing. You're at the bottom, and it's just blackness. It's so like, far. It's like and, my brain in here. Yeah, hundred percent actually. <laughs> and it's so large. This area. Um, the only light is being cast from this radiant creature. And as it turns, it looks to all of you. Thank you for freeing me. Are you on the path? <sighs> For the paragon of light. Uh, we we believe so. We were we were set on this path to help save a friend who passed. Well, we were hoping we could reclaim his soul. I cannot help you with that, but I am going to the paragon of light. We do you wish to join me? We do. Um. We, we do have a couple compa- companions that we had left behind, if you could give us just a moment. A moment? Surely. As he t- 
tears open behind him, and this just plainer portal opens behind him. Woo! Excuse me? We're not level 20? No, I'm not ready to go to the planes. <laughs> Tyrion's like, oh shit, we don't have time, and he's gonna book it back. <laughs> I can give you but a minute. Mm-hmm. All right. Um... You guys get this, a lot of colors you can see from this. You can't make out any images or shapes, but it's just all these sorting colors inside here. All right. Um, that will bring us back to Ulyris and Zeph. You guys have to the top of that. You just see the plane open. Oh. <laughs> and that's way down there, though. Oh, we could be going to a nice place, maybe. Maybe. Hopefully not get him. Um, what are you two doing? Uh, I'm going to run over there. Okay. You leave Tellius behind. What about you, I'm Zeph? I'm waiting for Tellius. All right. Zeph, trying to take in the whole group, keeping the rope down there as Tellius is looking up towards this creature that's still indecisive about his relationship with him. Um, <laughs> Tellius, it's your turn as Yulira starts booking it. They have this whole on and off thing. You know, it's, <laughs> uh, it's a little unhealthy. <laughs> As you begin to move, he's going to use one of his reactions. Okay, one of his reactions. Um, that will be actually be a legendary action. Okay. And he is going to... You're going to see out of the ground, he's like, I can't allow you to leave now. And around him, very oh, God shit. of War-esque style, you see these chains come out. And he tosses, there's like these kunais on the end of it, but it's kunai like the Call of Duty, or the, uh, <laughs> the Yu-Gi-Oh kunai and chain type of deal. It's not like Naruto or, or Spear. And it, it's going to go and try and dig into you. Oh, yeah, that's fine. I just want to be on equal level with him. That, that's cool, too. Okay. <laughs> he didn't know that. 37? That's okay. 37? Oh, no, no, 27, 27. I'm just going to willfully hit. fail. I don't really care. Oh, okay. All right. Grab it, ride it back up. As he, they dig into you, that's going to do uh, 36 points of cold damage as it sinks into you. And he, uh, if you're purposely failing the save, con save here, he, you'll be pulled into him and grappled. Sure. And he brings you up. As Zeph just sees Tullius get locked up in these chains, and as he sees you don't resist... He is confused. <laughs> Just wants to get unequal footing with you, but I guess that works too. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> as, he takes, <laughs> as he takes the kunais out of your body. Um, <laughs> all right. I bet you got some egg on your face. <laughs> no. All right. Um, the rest of you, what are you doing? I, I'm gonna cast Thaumaturgy and be like, Fuckers, get over here! Okay. <laughs> Should you be using the bad language around the angel? <laughs> I turned you wouldn't know. <laughs> but that's still fair. That's still fair for Jarnu. Anyway. Uh, what's everybody else doing? Combat is basically ended, so we're just sort of in... Jarnu's gonna walk over to the angel and say, Hey, as he's clutching his chest, bleeding profusely. Yep. Can you help me? <laughs> no. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'll go over and give him a potion. Thank okay, you. go for it. No. <laughs> no. I was thinking maybe. I don't know. Is anybody thro stepping through the portal? Is anybody doing anything? I'm waiting for my whole group. All right. Zeph, what are you doing then as you see this happen? Uh, is he? He's not grappled right now, right? Sorry, not I anymore. I'll just shout out to him, like, what are you doing? We're getting out of here. I don't think so. Leave. 44 plus 4? Yep. I will. And I'll walk away. All Pull right. my rope. All right. Zeph runs towards the area. Ulyris, following Ulyris. All of you guys are making your way down there. <laughs> it is just you and uh, Ragnorum now. Okay. I didn't see this happen. <laughs> um, no kiss. Same. <laughs> uh, 
I need you to roll for divine intervention. Percentage die. I got you. Nineteen percent. What's your level? Eleven. Nope. I don't know. I just gotta think. Just give your DM a moment to think. <laughs> all right. Um, can yeah. I catch up to the angel then? Yep. You're all at the angel while your DM is uh, thinking. I assume I am less than 600 feet away from Talaeus. Uh, yes, definitely. Right, I'm just going to turn around and take a shot at the the creature, the lizard. You can. Guy. He's going to pick Talaeus' hand and place it on the little thing earlier Charnuk tried to hit. I need you to make a wisdom saving throw. <laughs> what do you want? Okay. Okay, I'm just, I'm just, just processing uh, is all. Yeah, go I ahead. I have a 25 to hit. Hits. I, which I used the superiority to die. Four. Uh, to hit. I got okay. a, I rolled a nine and then used uh, superiority to die to add to the roll. I got a seven. So 16 plus nine. Okay. 25. Yeah. All right. Uh, and then I'm going to use another one when I hit, which does six more damage, but it's not going to do any damage. Uh, and I am going to give Tellius a reaction to disengage and run away 15 feet or whatever half movement if he so takes that opportunity. All right. As you touch it, you do have an opportunity to disengage them. As, like, the arrow's hitting at that time, you're touching it, you can try and disengage. Can I try to disengage? Yep. You're going to trigger a reaction, though. <laughs> Didn't you already use that? Um, uh, did he, he didn't yeah. use it this round, right? No, I know. It hasn't been his turn yet, right? Um, it has. I, I think his, his 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 reaction. He hasn't used his reaction since he used it on me, right? Yeah. Yeah. So that was a while ago. Well, what did he use on Tellius before? When Tellius tried. That to was a legendary it? action. Uh, yeah, that's that's reaction. different. I can't keep track oh, of anything. Yeah, legendary actions are supposed to be. Used um. At the end of all right. Well, if it is a uh, intelligence check, saving throw, to disengage. Um, I don't even know if I want to do that. Up to you. Um, can I just talk with my reaction? Um, as you talk, he's just gonna touch the thing in his chest to you. I... What is the meaning of all just this? Just try! Okay. Um, as you touch it, you fall unconscious. Um, what's everybody else doing? Um, how far away would Tyrion be? He only used like one round of movement to move towards the group. Uh, it's probably from the guy, um, from Ragnorum. You're looking about 400 feet because you're at the very edge. You guys went down like a 300 foot tunnel, and he's mm -hmm. about 50 50 on each side. Tyrion's just gonna scream fuck and run back to the portal. Okay. What's everybody else doing? Tyrion, what's going on? Where, where's where's uh, Tellius? Tellius fell. We have to go. We don't have time. And tears in his eyes, he's just gonna run through the portal. Through the portal you go. What's everybody else doing? You're running out of time. Quickly. Gotta make a decision. Mm -hmm. I run through the portal. New Iris goes through the portal. Yeah. Charnu goes through the portal. Orhana? Through the portal. Through the portal. Joseph? Uh, 
uh, yeah, I'll, I'll follow him. Through the portal. Portal disappears. I'll lose, I'll lose one more arrow before I go through. Go ahead. Might as well. Yeah. Natural 20. <laughs> okay, go ahead. <laughs> I assume it doesn't do any damage, but... It's not a magical weapon. Just, just try it. Yeah. <laughs> All right. I don't have any superior to die, so... As you go in, we'll pick up next week in the next place. Wherever you guys went in that portal, I need Talias to stay after. Hey, you're in trouble. <laughs> uh, why did you run? Yeah, I mean, well, it, it's impossible to make the saving Talius throw. Talias has a lot of things on his mind. Yeah. There are so it <laughs> very little information we actually know. I never expected this. <laughs> well, <laughs> anyway. Welcome to the Revenant Army. Enjoy your stay. Being mm -hmm. a mindless beast of labor. If any of you want to hang out and talk afterwards, just mute and deafen for now. Yeah, I'll, I'll just, yeah, I'll just leave it up. And mute and deafen. You guys can head home. I'm never coming back! Bye bye, mate. I'm so surprised no one ended up dying. But that's so good. We didn't know. We, sh we should have died. You let us live. If, Let's be real. In, in a sense, but also, what his goals are aren't just carnage. It's not just to murder you guys. And there was, there was a bunch of things of interest here that you guys played with. And Tully's played with it really well. Good night. Drive safe. He did. He did do that. Tullius right, was gonna... the MVP, and y'all abandoned him. <laughs> <laughs> what were we supposed to do? There's Get creative. Tried. There's nothing yep. you guys could have done. All right. I did everything nothing. in my power. Oh, so you guys could not have done anything. No. It's okay. That guy manhandled me and stole from me. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I know. <laughs> yeah, we we took we we took a lot of hits this fight. And he was holding back. Figures. <laughs> <laughs> All right. You can just just at us when you're finished sure. with your stuff. Sure. All right, everybody mute it and deafened out of here. Get, yep, just you, you too, Luke. Get out of there. I don't want to hear yeah, You don't want to hear this. Well, do I, though? <laughs> and, and, and the payoff's better. All right. <laughs> Tullius, yeah. you collapse. Yeah. Darkness takes you. Your mind rushes with shooting stars, galaxies, and eons. You see nebulas and colors that you can't even describe or understand. Rushing past you, you can feel some... some force trying to wheel you away from where you're being taken. And then... <clears throat> utter... Do you have dark vision? Okay. You can feel movement in this darkness. And you can hear these, <laughs> these big, deep steps. And then a little bit of light in this void starts to illuminate a small circle from you. This dark mist starts pushing in. And you see two glowing purple eyes above you in the sky. Just staring. From the edge of the darkness and the shifting smoke starts to push out. There's these blacks, like the smoke emanating off their, their footsteps. Start coming out of the darkness. You see these razor, knife-like teeth and these big triangle faces of these bone creatures. <laughs> Walking towards you. And as they start to approach you and you start to feel back, 
Behind you, two just pass through your body. <gasps> and you seize up as they continue walking through. And as you, you're trying to breathe, in front of you, you see your uncle walk out. He's got a scar. Looks exactly like you remember him. Talius, my boy. What are you doing here? Remember something. I'm not sure. But I know something's brought me to see you again. It's... I've missed you dearly as your whole family has. was part of the deal. What do you mean? You are special, Tullius. And you were lost. I still feel lost. But you are found now. There is guidance. And I can take you there. If you come with me. I can help fill in the blanks. I love that. Okay. Um, he reaches out his hand. Do you follow him? Uh, As yeah. he, he's like turned sideways to pull you into the darkness. Sure. Yeah. Uh, As you are walking towards him, you can feel your heartbeat. <laughs> And you take his hand, and your body starts heating up. And you can feel this absolute panic welling up inside you. And as he starts to bring you there, um, wings <laughs> come out of Tullius. And they are, like, holding you at the edge, not letting you go into the darkness. Wait, of my uncle? Of you. Of me? Okay. Of you. Um, these angelic wings you remember seeing at the Titan Forge. Okay. As they are pushing not letting you get through. Um, you're completely caught off guard, and you take a, a quick glance at your uncle. Uh, give me a perception check. 16. 16. Uh, you see, as he's, his smiles and calm demeanor is pulling you in, you see this all of a sudden exaggerated, monstrous face just ah! of anger just start to pull out like his jaw extends and those knife teeth that you saw in the other things are there as well and then and then it's gone in a, in a moment and you see him Talius I don't think you're letting go I don't think you're my uncle what are you talking about Because you've not seen the way yet. What do you mean? Through here, through it, <clears throat> you can follow your path again. And you start hearing those two, the male female voices at the same time again, enter in just all around you, all encompassing. Dear child. How have you escaped my case? Where have you been all this time? Come back. Your purpose isn't meant for this place. Is this the voice of the yes. I've been hearing? Yes. Okay. No, 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 no. This is the voice you heard today, today. Not the voice you've been hearing. Okay. This is a different voice. The other voice sounds female and singular. This one is both genders... And they talk at the same time. Okay. And this is... Okay. Mm-hmm. That's all I'm doing. I'm just, like... Yeah. Pretty overwhelmed. Right and now. you see him just let go of your hand. 
Maybe you have forgotten us then, Tullius. Maybe you have turned your back on your family and your mission. It's not the Tullius I knew. What do you mean? I... I remembered you. I remembered all of them. But there's something I have to do. I just don't know what. It's with us, Tullius. Just have to let go. Roll another percentage die. <laughs> Eighty two. With that, you start to see you feel something coming up behind you again and you go to turn and brace yourself if it's those strange monsters mm -hmm. and instead you see stags ethereal stags walking towards you just three of them one very tall as it comes close you see your you turn back to your uncle you see this hiss as he dissipates into the shadows the stags start flanking you and coming close with your still your angelic wings wide and far as they're trying to push as the darkness is squishing ever closer to you you feel this pressure. Talius. That's the two voices. Talius. And then the other ones are unmoving, but they come flanking you, almost trying to surround you. The other stags. Yes, okay. the stags. They come closer towards you. Talius, you're my champion. The two voices. Accept your mission. Uh, Tullius, uh, he, he definitely feels more warmth towards these other creatures right now, but is confused. Yeah. <laughs> Rightfully so. Mm hmm. Tullius remembers. I... Back to his family. Back to a different time. He starts thinking of what his mission was, and what his purpose was. And he sees an angelic figure in front of him handing that orb earlier that Tullius saw to him but then Tullius putting that aside to see a sigil that's handing toward him. In it are these two almond-shaped eyes. They have, like, the pupils of, the, like, uh, people like you, like lizard folk, that, that type of look to them. And below it, in, like, a north star, but they look like icicles underneath it for this sigil. Like the icicles come in from, like, under the star? They are, like, over the star. Like over the star. Okay. Yeah, it's like a star, but, like, so icicle wised all iced. Okay. And you recall a conversation between you and this angel. But why... Does it have to be me? I'm happy. I have everyone. I... I don't know why. There are stronger people. My uncle, my father. Why? And you hear this angelic voice. Talius, you will see in time. It has to be you. We have sent others, and they have not succeeded. You mustn't lose faith. You are a paladin of light. You, Tullius, are on a path no other can walk. But 
Why not? Why not anybody? Because Talius, they are already lost. Your friends, your family, they will all melt away. Even who you were will melt away when you step forward. But you must keep us alive. You must keep our memory alive. Because once it fades, all is lost. You are the paladin of the Dove. The what? Dove. As pulls you out of the memory as you're there. Wings seem to be pushing ever brighter, ever further out. Um, you... Ten. Where's my ten? No, I don't need one. It's here. As this comes back to you, the you feel this cold come over you, but you're not cold. But you feel what once touched you when the angel put its hand onto you knocking you back to this reality. You see all the way at the edges, you see these ice just start shooting out all around you. And as the ice shoots off in all those directions, you're pulled back to reality as this ice just pushes Ragnarum back. And he gets shot back. Um, You come back to inside the arena right now. Oh, shit. Um, Still there? What? Is the portal still there, or is it gone? It's still open. Uh, can I dimension over to the portal? <laughs> you can, but as you look, you see all these strange symbols on you, almost like bruises, all over your bronze skin, and you can feel your, it like pulsating inside you as you see, he gets knocked back, and you see him... <sighs> no! No! And dimension door... Over there, within 500 feet, you're right in front of it. Yeah. And as you are um, holding yourself, you level up. You get a point in uh, in Paladin as you go through the portal. And... (laughs) Bro, I know. I saved the city. Those percentages... The 82 or the 13... The, the 82. The 82. Like so, two? so fucking close to losing Tullius. <laughs> I thought, I, I did, I thought it was over. I legit was like, oh, I lost Tullius. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, huge. you, I can't, I can't stress how the rolls push this so close. Hey, man. Uh, you know? Sometimes. You do what you gotta do. So, that is where we will end tonight as Tullius oh, shit. <laughs> manages to escape Ragnorum. Uh, oh. Probably won't be as friendly next time. Probably not. 